Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We did it. We knocked out the Jaspies Chase the Mantle Finale Break. It's an 80 box baseball mixer. All pick your teams and we're giving away a Mantle Cut Auto in this break as well. All card chip. It's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine case break. At the end of the break, first of all, big thank you to everyone here for selling it out. Great work, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. At the end of the break, we'll randomize that list of names. Name on top will get a Chase the Mantle entry plus the Tier 1 Mickey Mantle cut autograph. There it is. Pretty nice. Is this number? Oh, yeah, it says sort of one of one right down there, yeah. Nice, we'll get that cut autograph and a Chase the Mantle entry. The next 14 spots will also get a Chase the Mantle entry. Half of this break are gonna be chasing the mantle. That randomizer will be tomorrow. Will be tomorrow afternoon, or evening East Coast time, uh, mid-afternoon, my time. Check the schedule. Um, we just wanna be able to, uh, we want to be able to get everybody in one place at the same time to watch this kind of big moment right here instead of doing it like at midnight tonight, 3 a.m. Eastern, when no one's watching. <laughs> We're gonna, I think we're also going to email everybody as well to tell them the times. I think most of you know when it's going to be, but we also want to give everybody who has an entry to be, know when to tune in. All right, let's do it. Big thanks once again. Here's the official printout right here on a Tuesday. I like that we got this on the books before the end of the month as well. It's good for the accounting. Thanks, everybody. Uh, Lazio jokes here. And I, believe it or not, I'm, I'm going to get that question all night, I feel like. <laughs> all right, and here are, we're going to keep track of the cases right here as well, just so in case someone's like, hey, what's left? I can be like this. So I'm going to have this handy as well. All right, let's get the, the big boring stuff out of the way first. Like this, uh, like the 16 box, this one right here. The, 2024 Panini Donners Baseball 16 boxes. That's our first one off the board. Jaspie will be here at some point to help pack stack, so that'll make this break a little bit more, a little bit more quick, more quick, quick, go by more quickly. That's right, Oliver. Oliver, you might be lagging behind a little bit. Make sure you're watching live. I did mention a few minutes ago that the 16 box of Donners is first. Jack also lagging behind a little bit. I did mention a few minutes ago that uh, before you made that statement that yes, Nick, Nick will be here to help me pack sack for a good bulk of this break. Adam's over under on how many times that question is asked before the end of the mixer. Um, I say, where do we want to set the line? Twelve? You think ah, oh, twelve and a half? All right. Well, you guys, you guys keep track. All right. Yeah. We'll we'll set we'll set it at we'll we'll set it at twelve and a half. I feel like uh, we've always got to have a hook for uh, for overs and unders.
Right, starting now. But they gotta be legitimate ones, not not like not like Lazio's. Those don't count. Good luck, everybody. Uh, all card chip. And uh, is that number? No. We're gonna try to go, try to be as as quick as possible. Here's Noah Schultz, first autograph. I might do the recap in a separate video. Just keep that in mind. Orange Rod Carew going to the Twins for Dean. Yohendry Morales to 275. That'll be for the Nats. That'll be for Adam. Uh, all card ship, too. Josue De Paula to 199. I hope it'll be. I'm planning for seven or eight hours on the break. I'm definitely hoping it'll be much less than that. I'd rather. Oh, that's Evan Carter's number to 275. Luke to 39. There's a good shot that I'm going to miss some numbered cards at some point, but. Remember, all cards ship. As long as you see it, you'll get it. And the numbered cards, when the shipping team, sorting and shipping team find it, they'll also make sure it's sleeved, sleeved up. That Drew Jones Marvels is pretty cool. That's to 199. That will be for uh, Diamond Marvels going to Adam. And the Diamondbacks, nice. Here's Harry Ford for the Mariners. Mariners making some moves, getting some hitting. Let's see if it helps. Ralphie Velasquez to 149. Jet Williams. Blank, Gavin Stone. Yeah, I feel like we should be able to get this in by the end of the night. I gotta squeeze in a dinner break in the middle of this break at some point too, but we'll, we'll, we'll get there. Person Waldrop, there's Nick. So you can see the top camera right there pointed at the, that cart right here in the background. Signature series. And so, uh, so yeah, you'll be able to see that there's no, uh, no funny business. Oh, there's a red Paul Skeen, that's number, that's 99. All those will go to Kane and the Pirates. Cartaya. Uh, all right, there's box one. And 
we go. You can see all the boxes uh, just to the right of Nick right there. Wait, what, what video have you been seeing everywhere? Yeah, I think like the jumbo cases should be much shorter with Nick's help. This is this is probably the mo the the one with the most cards. I think we're kind of going to go in the order of kind of largest case to smallest. We'll probably end with that hit parade emerald. Oh, my pack opening tutorial? What, what's, what's the reactions? I don't, I don't look at the comments of anything, of any social media stuff that involves me. I hope the comments are positive. Or maybe people have different ways to open packs, which is fine too. There's no right or wrong way to open packs. Grizzlebees, what's up? Says hi to Nick as well. Nick, how is the national? Is the hobby dead? Nah. No. It's too I heard it was crowded, yeah. Hobby is not dead, lady. 30, 30 minute bathroom lines? There's only two bathrooms. Really? Yeah. Wow. That's. You know, <laughs> of just hobby nerds yeah. just crowding up the bathrooms. Adam's wondering, what, has a, what day What day were you there? Thursday, Friday. Thursday, Friday. I think they just, him and his dad just popped in, popped out. It was a, more of an under the radar sort of trip. Take some meetings. Yeah, I didn't really walk around too much. It was hard to walk around though. Marcelo Meyer, Unleashed. Yeah, Adam was there on Saturday. Yeah, Saturday I heard was the busiest day. We were in general mission. We went through the entire um, national experience. Oliver's wondering if you've been getting any golf in. Yeah, I got a lot of golf stuff at the national. What about the actual playing of the, have you been swinging the sticks? No. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't swung the sticks in a, in a, in a week. Kind of working on some things at home, but to uh, get back into a, a groove. It's Josh's brother to 149. Randy Johnson, you saw a video of a guy pulled a one of one Caitlin Clark. Wow. Oliver, do you need to swing the six too? You, did, you didn't play up in Tahoe? Cal Ripken, uh, A's trade Max Muncy, the one that the trade deadline is over. The Angels didn't trade Tyler Anderson. <laughs> I just did not trade Tyler Anderson. He's pitching well on a one year deal, and the Angels are like, we'll just let that expire without, you know, without uh, getting anything for him in return. In a huge pitcher's market? Yeah, in, in a, yeah, right, exactly. In a, in a market where everyone's desperate for, desperate for a starting pitching. Angels, are, we're going to stand, stand pat. <laughs> is there an all -star right. So, I mean, there's a Kikuchi, and they right. got number three prospect, yeah. number one prospect. I'm sure, I'm sure Astros called, and they were like, hey, what would you like for yeah. Tyler Anderson? And they're like, eh, we're going to keep him. Yeah, we're getting a. Yeah, we can't trade him before his bobblehead night. Yeah, they'll put him on waivers like in August, like they did with all those guys the other year. There's Ichiro to 79, Mariners edition. That'll go to Ken. Oh, the Roger Gar Arias, by the way, is a Yankee. That'll go to John Jackson. The Spencer Jones relic will also go to you. There's Nazan uh, Zanatello. 
for the Red Sox. Chris Parent with the Sox. Miles Naylor to 99. Harry Ford to 99. Kendrick Jr. You saw, yeah, that was crazy. James McCann got hit in the face, pretty much the nose. There's blood gushing out of his nose. And he stayed in the game. No concussion protocol or anything. Got they did. I don't know. I feel like he's always injured. So maybe maybe they're thinking. See you, the MLB network guy there. Which MLB network guy? Greg Amsinger. Greg Amsinger was at the National? Yeah. My dad shouted. What did, you, what did your dad shout? Because I guess he, he went to the Top Fault one time and filmed a piece there. So I was like, yeah, I'm sure he I mean, who's, who's going to forget the Top's Vault? No, he's, he's just, he was just focused. Here's Everson Pereira to 99. That is for the Yankees. That's for John Jackson. Tomei to 49. That is, uh, that is Cleveland edition. It's kind of weird. They don't say the city there, but it says in the text. They let who stay in? Is Jose Canseco to 199? Miguel Belize to 275. They let Eloy Jimenez stay in the game? Or McCann? I mean, yeah, I was a little surprised too. Usually out of an abundance of caution, they'll, they'll just pull him from the game. But... Isn't he a catcher? Yeah. I guess the, yeah, he's a tough guy. I guess the training staff was like, he convinced the training staff he's okay to play. If the catcher leaves, all of a sudden the, the pitchers are like, oh, is this catcher a win? You know? Right, yeah, you don't, you don't, don't respect him. James McCann's a tough guy. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna knock off his, his calls. Right, right, he's gonna shake him off. Yeah. Yeah, Jack, I saw that too. Padres got Marlins closer, who's been pretty decent this year. Walked a lot of guys, but but they traded a bunch of prospects for Tanner Scott. Yeah, their bullpen is is loaded. I think they're counting on a. Uh, counting on going to the playoffs and having starters pitch a shorter amount of innings, which generally is what happens, so they're preparing for that. Why not go for it? There's Bernie Williams, eight out of 10 for the Yankees. It's gonna be for John Jackson. Oh, you do see people saying probably, oh, it was a double header and Adley wouldn't play both games. They're just like, we'll just use up old guy James McCann to protect Adley Rushman. Thank you, thank you for your sacrifice, James McCann. That probably makes sense too. I'd rather protect uh, Adley Rushman. There's Nick Gonzalez to 39. Uh, there's Ben Rice. This is all, another Yankee to 75. The Yankees cleaning up in this Donruss 
just the first case, but so far so good. Ben Rice, he's getting some, some playing time with the Yanks. Yeah, that's yeah. James McCann has that hockey player mentality. And remember, gang, if you're just joining us, this is case one of nine of our baseball mixer. Uh, so take up pretty. We might not, we'll probably have some time at the end for that hit parade break if, if that sells out. That's down to its last filler. No more full spots. We'll probably do that at some point late tonight. The big mantle randomizer will be tomorrow. We're going to schedule that for 4 o'clock Pacific tomorrow just so everyone can be in and be ready and watch and get as many eyeballs on as possible for a big time randomizer. And maybe get some new followers. That's the idea. We're not going to get too many followers if we do this at 2 a.m. Eastern. All right, Jet Williams will go to the Mets. It's going to be for John, John G. With the Metropolitans. Josh Bell's a good pickup for the Diamondbacks. I think so. He's like one of those guys that'll get like a clutch home run in yeah, the postseason. Right, exactly. Like he'll do nothing in the regular season. His numbers have been going down yearly. But then, but yeah, but he has... He's got yeah. He's got a little thunder in that bat. So you put him in a good spot. He might re he'll probably reward you at some point. I feel like Piazza the one ninety one. The worst trade deadline. Has the worst trade deadline. Has the worst trade deadline? Yeah. Yeah, it's the least amount of fireworks. It's uh yeah, once they added the extra wild card team, yeah. more teams are in it longer. And now teams don't wanna or teams are probably like either asking for too much or don't wanna give up too much. Football then, used to be the worst, but now football actually Football you actually kinda see some stuff now. Preston Kirkstad to ninety nine. Ty Floyd to 99. Orioles did a great job at the trade deadline. They added the pitching that they need, move some of their surplus hitting. So let's see how that works out for them. We've got Henry Davis auto for Kane and the Pirates. Capped 149. Brendan Fott. That's right. Yeah, there he is. He's got he's a baby picture. His parents post baby pictures. Or no, maybe his wife posting baby pictures of him. Wearing Dodgers gear. He was born in Burbank, went to Harvard Westlake, was in that rotation with Max Fried and uh, Lucas Giolito. Although I think he's a few years younger than them. There's Kobe Mayo. And there's Brandon Barrera for Toronto. That's to 49. Vera to five, our first train whistle of the break. What's the over-under on train whistles? John Jackson with the Yankees, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo-hoo! 
Nice mo. One, two, three, four more boxes right here. Eight out of 49, rated prospect autograph Lazaro Montes for the Seattle Mariners. Ken with the M's. Got Conseco to 39. Ty Pete. Kyle Teal. William McCovey to 49. There's Orion Kirkenberg, Kirkering, signature series to 75. Orion. I like the, uh, like the constellation. So number one will win the mantle auto and a mantle entry. Correct. And 2 through 15 will win, will win entries. entries. Yeah, remember, at the end of the break, that's being given away. I did the math right, right? I think you did the, you did the math correctly. 2 through 15. We had 15 entries left for sure. I hope so. That's what I was told. I mean, unless we forgot to put a name in. Okay. 186 to 200 is 15. It's 15. It would be, we could be, we'd be canceled, yeah, we would be canceled. I don't know, we'd probably have to give that person, you know, Mickey Mantle. <laughs> yeah, we'd probably have to like, I don't know, I don't know about a Mickey Mantle, but our deep is apologies and we'll have to buy him off. Yeah, I don't know if that would work without a mantle. <sighs> I mean, we can't give him that mantle. No. But what would we have to do? We'd have to run a... I mean, we'd have to give him a 1 in 200 chance at something. I think we'd have to create another randomizer with that person's name in there. I don't know, some kind of hush money would have to be paid. Yeah, I think so too. That, that would be negotiable. Uh, now's the time, ladies and gentlemen, to, if you have an entry, if you know you want an entry, and if your name is not on the list, uh, click the click the link in the pinned chat. That'll take you to the break schedule, and then you can go to, we've been telling people this from day one of the promo, but check the list, make sure your name is on there. If it's not, let me know right now. Tell me what video we need to look at to confirm. Tommy Lasorda, Dodgers, Matt Lieber. Joe Torrey to 199. There's Miles Naylor to 149. Harry Ford. Keith, Diamond Marvels. He'll be part of the uh, Tigers rebuild. He's a here's a Steve Carlton for the Phillies. I 
That will be for David M. and the Fightin' Phils. C. May 3111. What's going on? Yeah, congrats to all the people who won entries. We're going to run that randomizer tomorrow. It's on the schedule. I want to know the exact time, but get maximum eyes on that. Collier rated prospect autograph for the Reds. John Jackson with the red legs. Ooh. I felt the coolness of a printing plate on the back of my hand, ladies and gentlemen. Another train whistle. No one built a line for over-unders on train whistles, but here's another one. Adele Amador, rated prospect autograph for the Rockies. He's one of their higher end prospects. Tristan with Colorado, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Pudge to 149. Ricky Tideman is your autograph for Toronto. That's going to be for David M. Ellie Dela Cruz to 275 for the Reds. Brian Braun to 199 for the Brew Crew. And we got Andrew Walters to 199 at the end here. That's Buster Posey. All right, another box. Colt Keith, uh, that is to 99. Bomb Squad, he's pretty good. Supposed to be pretty good. That's, that Riley Green, Colt Keith is a bit of the core that they're trying to build around. Tariq Scoogle probably as well. Gibson to 275. There's Mickey Mantle. It's who we're chasing. It's to 79. There's a Ryan Braun relic for the Brew Crew. That's going to be for Tristan and the Brewers. Brandon Fott to 149. Samuel Zavala to 275. Wayne Carr to Joe. Chuck 
Chase Davis for the Cardinals. Yuri Perez to 199. Andre Morales autograph. Nationals, that's going to be for AK, Adam Copperman. Uh, Junior Caminero might get the call up now that some of his infield teammates have been moved around. It'll be good for my fantasy team. Uh, Noble Meyer to 99, and here's Jackson Merrill to 49 for the Padres. He's having a great season. David Ortiz. And we've got a signature series, Chase DeLotter. Cleveland, this is for you. Jason Kirsch with the Guardians. Evan Carter to 99. Wow. Yeah, Christopher Morell joins the Rays, hits a dinger. Oh, boo. You heard Nick mention that there's some surface lines on some of the cards because of the pack. Try to get some more boxes on camera here. We've got a bunch of boxes on the table here. Let's keep going. I think we're just a few boxes away from completing our first case, which was the biggest one, I think, which was the, uh, the Donruss, 16 boxer. And then we'll go to the next biggest case and the next biggest case. So as we get closer to the end of the video, we should be down, we should get down to like Immaculate and Hit Parade and stuff like that. So we're building a head of steam here. Here's uh, Andy Rodriguez to 99. Cade Horton to 149. We got Kemp Alderman for Miami. Jr. to 199. I'm going to sleeve all those up later, folks. I think just in the interest of time. Ty Floyd autograph, rated prospect auto. For John Jackson and Cincinnati. Tyler Soderstrom. Mason Wynn. Pujols to 275. Terry Ford. Everson Pereira. And there's Felnine Celestine for Seattle. One of their up and coming prospects. Ken with the Mariners. David, yeah, this filled fast. Once people saw the quality of the break, you know, the fact that we're at the end of uh, the line in the Chase Mantle promo, 
think that got the needle moving for a lot of people. So thanks, everybody. Bobby with Junior to 149. Just on our first case. Kyle Teal unleashed. We'll be running that randomizer tomorrow. Here's Matt Horvath, 275. Braden Taylor, Diamond Marvels, 199. Drew Gilbert, 275 for Seattle. And Noble Meyer, 53 out of 99, autograph for Tristan in Miami. Yeah, this a lot of you all card ships. So yeah, a lot of you are gonna get some some big, uh, some large size, oversized packages. There's Yiddy Cap to 149. We stand bro. What's going on? Who do you think is winning the Super Bowl this year? Looking for some early predictions. Um, my Raiders. Las Vegas Raiders to win the Super Bowl over the Philadelphia Eagles. There's Jonathan Papelbon to 99. In a surprise twist, here's Brady House 79. It'll be the Raiders defense leading the way. And then the, uh, you know, they'll find someone to manage the game in either Aiden O'Connor or Gardner Minshew, and they'll lead them through uh, playoffs. It's Harry Ford's 99. They'll go in as a wild card. They're not going to win the... Uh, <laughs> I was going to say both teams are 17 and up going into the Super Bowl. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Oh yeah. Yeah. First. Ever. Eagles Raiders just run the table and they just go all the way to the first Super Bowl. Ever, Seventeen and zero. Seventeen and zero. I mean, that would be a, that would be a story. Jordan Lawler and we got Dylan Head for San Diego. And the Super Bowl ends in a draw. Wow. How would that How would that even work? I think they go, they go to so many overtimes that they just they, they just call the game. Split it. Wow, and just that would be crazy. That'd be unprecedented. It'd be a joint Lombardi. Like one half would be Eagles colors yeah. and the other wow. half Raiders. It's already silver. Yeah. Um. Oh, Bobby with Junior autograph. Nice. Five out of twenty-five. See, these are the, some of the surprises that you can get out of something like Donner's baseball. Uh, John Jackson with the Royals. Here you go, John. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes, absolutely. So this represents the end of Donruss.
If you're gonna do update Jumbo, because I feel like Jumbo yeah, sure. Yeah, any of the base heavy stuff. When do we have more basketball breaks? I think now that this, this big promo is done, there hasn't been too many new basketball releases, but we might have to dig into the archives and find some more hoops. But sometime this week, actually. Sometime this week. Ray, Adam looked it up. Or haters over Eagles in the Super Bowl is a thousand to one. That's it. I, I feel I feel like that should be a lot more. Why? I don't know. Just the likelihood of the Raiders going to the Super Bowl. Well, that the Raiders are probably hundred to one. The Eagles are like eleven to one. So I guess they just multiply it. Yeah, I suppose so. Rex has the Bears going to the Super Bowl. Yeah, what, what? Who has a better chance between Bears and Raiders? I actually don't know. That's a good question. Adam, do you, do you have those odds still up by chance? Is Zach Geloff for 149? Johan Santana for the Twins? It's Philadelphia Jim Tillman? Who has the better odds of going 0 17? It's hard to go 0 17. It's Mariano Rivera to 199. Is it harder to win the Super Bowl or go 0 17? It's harder to go 0 17, I think. Even if you're like the Bears, I think so. And it's it's just you gotta f around and stumble into a win at some point, any given Sunday. Who's been the longest shot to ever win the Super Bowl, though? Maybe that Ravens team with yeah. I mean, but just, like preseason. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Preseason. Bears are 35 to 1? Wow. I mean, easier division, I guess. The NFC North is not spoken for. The Raiders have to play the Chiefs twice a year. The Silver Packs, I'm opening and I'm just putting on top. Uh, oh, okay. That's fine. We got. Kevin McGonagall. McGonagall? Have they announced who the halftime performers will be? No. I don't think they're. I don't think that usually that doesn't usually doesn't get announced until like later in the season, maybe midway through the season. Daft Punk. Daft Punk gonna come back. And Radiohead? Wow. Just indie hipster dream. There's Melendez. Uh, who, was, who was it last year? I forget. Was it Beyonce? No. Shakira? No. Um, why am I blanking on this? Usher. Yeah. Tink Hentz. It's kind of forgettable. Uh, so maybe... It's in New Orleans. New Orleans. It's Tink Hence for St. Louis. That'll go to Beyonce Kane. Beyonce was the last time they had it in New Orleans. Gotta be the girl who sang the anthem at the All-Star Game. Just give, yeah. her, give her a second chance. I was gonna say probably a country artist. But New Orleans, what do you want in New Orleans? Uh, Harry Connick Jr. Could just go out there and do like jazz standards and just do Sinatra songs, I guess. Fly me to the moon. Let me. It's Chase Davis in '99. Meta they need to have Metallica up there. I think they usually. Have they ever done like a metal band? Lil Wayne. Oh, okay. Lil Wayne. What, what about what about Lil Wayne and Metallica? That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. Kind of like the Jay Z and what's Lincoln Park. 
year. Yeah, there was also the Red Hot Chili Peppers and the guy who... Pharrell? No, it was... The, the little guy that gambles Bruno a lot, Mars. Bruno Mars. He's probably my height, but he's still a little guy. <laughs> I heard he's amazing. In concert? Yeah. Yeah, I, like, I hear that incredible. too. Like hours of just top hits. Yeah, I mean, you forget, you, you can go through a greatest hits and you're like, wait a second, Bruno Mars has a lot of hits. He loves gambling. He's probably he, a fun hang. He probably is a fun hang. He's Hawaiian. Yeah, they probably have a good time. Yeah. Knows where to get the good food. You know, he's probably... Is he married? I don't know. No, he could be... A, Hawaii to the Hawaiian Islands. If he is, he could be a good, he could be a good wingman. Golf, probably. probably oh, he probably golf. golfs, yeah. Oh, and a one-of-one one, Bomb Squad Aaron... Evan Carter. Not Aaron Carter. Aaron Carter is a... Uh, someone else. <laughs> Evan Carter. Thinking about music and that... I, I thought Aaron Carter. The last team, man. Yeah, the Rangers were one of the last teams picked up. Joel. Rangers, and all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Oliver wants the Hawk Tua girl to, to do the halftime show. I don't know if they could televise that. That might be something that cannot be televised, Oliver. Not at a family-friendly halftime show. Yeah, that'd have to be on, like, Peacock. Right. On the cock? <laughs> yeah. Nice. I wasn't going to say. Peacock Network, though. We're talking about the Peacock Network. Get your mind out of the gutter, you guys. There's Kemp Alderman. Rated prospect autograph for Miami. This is going to be part of a six-hour video. No one's going to no one's gonna hear this. Except for those of you watching live. There's Don Mattingly to 149. Know, someone could clip it. Someone could clip it. Yeah, I know. And then we're canceled. All of a sudden, we're canceled. Yeah, and there goes the business. We gotta fire everybody. Ramon's got like a, a baby, and we're gonna have to let him go. Sorry, well, we Ramon. We probably just had to get rid of you. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, fair enough. Fair enough. It's not like CNN shuts down when they have to get right, rid when, like, of Right, when like Don Lemon is gone. Of, uh, Cuomo or whatever. Right. Fair enough. CNN still carries on without Don Lemon. Fox is fine. No Tucker Carlson. Fox is still going. Yeah. Tucker Carlson probably thought they're gonna be nothing without me, and they're just they're humming along nicely. We'd still think of you time to time, Joe. Though. What's that? We'd still think of you. Yeah, yeah. I, I, it's like, oh, remember when Joe would do that? And yeah. Too bad he's canceled. There's Colin Hawk Tua. Jack's thinking her 15 minutes would be over by then. Yeah, probably. How is she monet? I don't think she's monetizing. I think she's got a. There's like a lot of merch out there, but is she? Like a million dollars worth of merch. Really? Yeah. Good for her. It's Phil Rizzuto, 99. And she's like headlining festivals. What is she doing at festivals? Just talking? Yeah. Is she gonna be just saying the line? It's just gonna get real sad when at some point where she's just doing like county fairs and they're just like, just say the line at like a booth when she's 35. Yeah. Jacob Wilson. You, do you get a bonus if you watch all six hours? Maybe, you know, I was thinking that. I should have done like secret keywords and if people put it together and then tell me what it is, it'll get a prize, but we didn't we didn't think that far ahead. Oliver's saying the 15 minutes already over for her. You're the William Hung of 2024. Zach Veen to 99. Rex is gonna push for Eminem to be in the halftime show. He's got a new album. It's the most streamed album. The latest release got the most tracks in the album in all genres in the United States. He already did it a couple years ago. Yeah, wasn't he in the... He was in the L.A. one. The, he was in the L.A. one. So I feel like they don't want to go... Back to that well. Go back to that. It's Kirby but Puckett to 149. Maybe a solo? I don't know. I don't know. I feel like a lot of times... 
Oh. They want, like, um... Let's go! Dylan Lesko for the Padres. I think they want, like, dance music. Seems like. I feel like we should just not have the halftime show. No. Now we gotta have it? I think they should go back to the high school bands. Yeah, in the early days, it was just marching bands that would go through. Yeah, I feel like New Orleans has a rich uh, marching culture. You know, they're they're in the streets playing playing the New Orleans jazz. Oftentimes, there. David says six, one of ones. We already have like, oh, uh, two. No, we had a few train whistles, but oh, yeah, just yeah. two, a, a plate, plate and the and the bomb squad, yeah. It could be more than that. We're ripping a lot of boxes here. Uh, Owen White will go to Texas. That'll be for Joel. Have you ever had baby bag ribs at Chili's? Yeah. Mm, how are they? Um, they're okay. They're okay. I prefer their almost chicken legs. Mm. It's Cole Young. It's a great airport restaurant. <laughs> it is a good airport restaurant, yeah. Rex is saying earlier that the Hawk Tua girl, Rex has done all the research on the Hawk Tua girl. Thanks, Rex. She actually does a lot of charity work with animals and such. Yeah, that's her PR team. That's her PR team? All of a sudden, she's yeah. her to do that. She's probably made so much money, she's got to start the tax write-ups. Right, right. She's got to go, she's got to put that money through charity, Rex. you got to filter that money through charity, otherwise you're paying the government all that money. You know, you filter that through a charity, you know, uh, whatever, 401cc or whatever they call it. 73 out of 99, that's uh, Enrique Bradfield Jr. That's for uh, Baltimore. That'll go to John Jackson. Alan Murdoch can see the, uh, the hawk to a girl being a sales rep for shoe polish. Nice. That's a good clean joke, Alan. Thanks for that. It is. In a world where it's just so easy to make the, the dirty joke. I need another table clear. Oh no. I, I am backed up here. I'm, I'm backed up here. You gotta hop two of these. It's a little quicker. Did I get, get rid of all these? All right, there's also a James Wood hiding on the bottom here. So what do, what do we have here? Update Jumbo. Update Jumbo from an old year. COVID. COVID year. Yeah, the airport I like the least is probably LAX. Yeah, I like Although the new good. Delta terminal is pretty nice, but it's just the... Until they get the people mover, whenever 10 years that happens. Do you know the only reason why that's delayed is they're just arguing over money? Yeah, well the contractor said we need to pay us more. Right. And then there was no other contractor to do the job. Yeah, so. and, they're, and they were just in a standoff and now it's going to be January 26th. Yeah, 2026. That's ridiculous. Maybe end of 2025 if we're lucky. It was supposed to be this year. It was supposed to be this year. Um, but, uh, you know, I really like... I, I like Charlotte a lot. Charlotte Airport, Philadelphia is sometimes okay. Dallas Airport is pretty big and nice. Um, uh, Tom Bradley is nice. Inter the international yeah, Tom is great. I believe we're flying into Newark for Fanatics Fest. And oh, okay. we're flying out of JFK. Oh, okay. So we get a little tour of the... Uh, get a little tour of New York? Yeah. Maybe Adam Kupperman will pick us up from Newark. I think he's on that side. I've flown into Newark before. Or, uh, or Edward. I think Riffer is on that side of the Hudson, or whatever that river is. Is that the river? What's on the, what's on the west side of, of Manhattan? The east side is 
so we did update Jumbo. Alright, so I, I thought we had to update Holly. I was kind of ruining that, but we don't. We have a different kind of hobby, though. We have a Bowman Chrome hobby, Platinum oh, Anniversary cool. hobby. Oh, that's not bad. Bowman Baseball Jumbo, I'll do next. Yeah, that's not bad. Bowman Baseball Jumbo, I'll do next. Let's do the Topps Chrome Platinum. Yeah, let's do Bowman Baseball Jumbo. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, that's not bad. Scoot all this over a little bit. You can see all the all the stacks right here and kind of on my face cam right there. Don't worry, these aren't going anywhere. Yeah, we're sending the city. No, I was just kidding. Adam. We should have just stayed at Adam's house. Just hop on the hop on the couch. That'd been fun. You know. We have like three hundred boxes left. Yeah. Yeah, you could just try. Yeah, drop us off at the tunnel. We'll walk the rest of the way. Uh, I flew out of Newark when I when I did my Cooperstown trip. I dropped the car off at Newark. I didn't want to drive through the city and risk missing my flight and go all the way out of JFK. So I went out of Newark instead, which was much easier. It still is traffic, but much easier to drop off the car. And, New York was nice, I guess. I don't remember too. Was, I don't remember hating it, so. No, New York. Okay. Yeah, New York's solid. Oh, Adam's only 25 minutes away from the airport. A lot of people will be flying there for the World Cup. Yeah. Tristan's 10 minutes away from the airport. I love how dramatic it is. LA has no cabs and everyone drives. NIC has all cabs and no one drives. Rex, you've never, obviously you've never been to New York. What are you guys watching, ping pong? All right, Tristan, thanks. I think we gotta get this ping pong on. You wanna get this ping pong on? I'll have the clicker. Here, you can control it, you can drive. New York is legal betting. Oh, right, can we bet on oh, no. Ohio? Olympics? <laughs> Olympics will all be over. I was firing then. bets in Ohio. Nice. Well, what it's kind of dangerous. Is it? It's, it's because that we don't have it here, though. Like, if right, it was right, right. normal, I think it'd be fine. Right. Miles Naylor but for the A's. Always responsibly. Yeah, bet responsibly, ladies and gentlemen. These guys are crazy. How they can spin the ping, ping pong ball? Right. It's, it's insane. It's Marcelo Meyer. It's Paul Skeens to 149. Is PR, who's PRK? The People's Republic of Korea, which is the the North Koreans. Bum, bum, bum. China versus North Korea, who do you go for? You know? Uh, yeah, I don't, I, who's, who's a lesser of two evils in these two countries? I guess China, we do a lot of business with China, so I suppose. You guys on China or you don't go up? Jeff's on North Korea. There's Raylan Morel, uh, will be for the Rangers. Yeah, exactly, Rex. California, where you can do damn near anything except for gamble. There's Ralphie Velasquez to 39. Thomas White. In California, got greedy. There were two different ballot measures that went up against each other, and then... You know, it was like a, it was like the scorpion on the back of the frog, 
trying to get across the river. That's, that's what happened. Online gambling is more dangerous than doing drugs or gambling in a business. That's what, they, yeah, that's, that's, that's what they're saying. That's what California is saying. You know, California just, it just hasn't, we haven't figured out a way to monetize it yet. Jaspies is going for North Korea. It's heavily favored in China. Hessen nice rookie auto for the O's, John Jackson. I feel like doubles table tennis would be extremely difficult. That one on the right, the one person on the right is amazing. The one on the right is so good. These guys, these guys must have the reflexes of, of F1 drivers. There's Randy Johnson to whatever that was, 199. We got Colt uh, Schoenwetter to 75. Jack Holiday said it's all too Oh, you got called back up? Yeah. He's scratched from today's lineup. He was back on the big club. Ricky Henson, 275. Nick, have you ever heard of the modern pentathlon? No. It's an event where you run, run, swim, shoot, ride an unfamiliar horse. What do you mean an unfamiliar horse? <laughs> like there's just like 10 horses and you get to pick one? Yeah, I don't know how that part works, but you have to ride a horse that is unfamiliar to you. Sounds like Amazing Race kind of. It kind of is. It's wild. It's one of the few sports where, where it's been around since 1912. We learned this yesterday. It's one of the few sports where the U.S. does not have a goal. So I was wondering if maybe maybe Jaspi should sponsor a, an American a, Olympic athlete to win our first gold. Do you think in the modern decathlon? Do you think me and Alex could win Amazing Race? Uh, I don't know. What what does that involve? You like travel from city to city and they give you challenges. But what are the challenges? Like. Oh, you gotta complete this puzzle, or oh, you gotta kayak out to this river, or you gotta eat this thing. Yeah. yeah. What? What can you win? A million dollars. I think you guys could do it. You think I could win Survivor? No. <laughs> Why not? I don't know. That's just a. It's a lot of. A lot it's of. Been my dream to be on Survivor. To be on Survivor, I feel like Amazing Race has more strategy. Amazing Race, you're and, definitely competing against. Ooh. Like worst competition, they, they and put you on, like, like you've like traveled a lot, so like you, yeah. I feel like you have like that kind of, but I don't know, like outdoor yeah. survival skills. Yeah, I don't have that. I'm not sure, because at least Amazing Race isn't about surviving, but like you could canoe, you can do like. But a, Amazing Race is really no strategy. Survivor, I think I could strategize. Oh, like, so like Amazing Race, you're you're really just well. trying to get from point A to point B as fast yeah. as possible. Yeah. Hmm. And okay. the last team gets eliminated each time. Got it. But Survivor, you're competing against them. some serious competition. Uh, don't they have like multiple seasons of that every... 
Yeah, Amazing Race has like a 300 team. Have you ever tried like auditioning for it? What's what are like the you criteria? No, no, for like uh, Survivor. Oh no. No, I wouldn't like Survivor. I don't do bugs or. All right. See that? That's the other thing. I don't know about the bugs either. There's Dalton Rushing, rated prospect autograph for the Dodgers. Matt Lieber with my Dodgers. I don't do bugs or like remote islands. Really. Yeah. Or like spear fishing, you know. Right. I don't know. I don't know how to spear fish. Guys do that kind of stuff. You know? Right. It's like I'm, how to. Where am I? I'm just chucking this spear in the water and hope I catch a fish. Yeah. Like. Corey. Although I could go there and I could, I could lose 10 pounds there. That's a good weight loss. Yeah, you do get ripped on that. Right. You just you have to get strong. You get you get island strong. Your caloric intake is down. Give me Jeff Probst. Yeah. Is that an autograph? Yes, Evan Carter auto, 44 out of 49. Uh, that is Joel with the Rangers. Nice break for the Rangers thus far. Well, we have a ways to go here, but you think uh, Oliver thinks Nevada blocked gambling in California? They might have. I don't know. I think it was just. I think it was the tribes. It was the tribal casinos mostly because there were like two different ballot measures, and one was. I don't know, there were pros and cons for both, but. People couldn't get on one side or the other, and FanDuel and DraftKings pumped money into both of them, and they both ended up losing. I think they, they kind of, it was like a classic split the vote sort of thing. I think one favored the bigger tribes more, and nothing was distributed to the smaller tribes, and one was more inclusive, but then it was like more of a hassle because you'd have to go to the location, and they were, couldn't agree on how to split the money, and... Zuri Perez for Tristan and and I think the sports books have kind of said that they don't necessarily they don't necessarily mind if uh, nice if uh, if gambling is uh, legal most places because Vegas is still such a big destination for anybody and now when you have people that are more familiar with with the sports book. You know, there'll be more people going there. Mark Mulder, 10 out of 10. That'll be for Oakland, Ryan. Oakland. Colton Kowser to 199. Giddy Cap. And we got Andrew Walters, rated prospect, four out of five, Cleveland. This is for you, Jason, with that one. And all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Reggie Crawford autograph to 75. That is for the Giants. John Jackson with San Francisco. This is the last down spot, right? Correct. 16. 16 boxes. 16 of the 80 boxes done. We're flying. We are, actually. Be, it's hour 15. It's going to be done by 9 p.m. 9.30. 10. Nolan Ryan to 79. Bryce Eldridge, Diamond Marbles to 99. Donruss was the hardest one. Yeah, that's why I wanted to numbers. get on this first. Get it out of the way. Evan Carter Relic for the Rangers. That's going to go to Joel. And update.
Kirby Puckett to 99. Bobby Wood Jr. to 99. Marcelo Meyer. Oh, I thought it was going to be autographed. Colin Hot Tua to 149. We got Bomb Squad James Wood. Um, oh, I thought that was numbered. It's not. But it'll still ship. Jacob Wilson to 275. Enrique Bradfield Jr. to 199. And that's it. Box 16, Donneris done. can translate. Oh. Alright, yeah, so now we have volleyball's a lot of fun actually, beach volleyball. Because you can just throw yourself around and it's just sand. Yeah, it's it's just like sand. Santa Monica. Really? Volleyball. Oh. And no beach city stuff. I'll have to uh, I'll have to watch. Yeah. I thought they'd do it in like Manhattan Beach or something like that. No, I think it's in Montana. I dig that. Probably the infrastructure. Bigger. Uh, probably bigger, yeah, to sustain all these people. This is a 2020 uh, update. Jumbo. Yeah, 2020 tops update baseball jumbo six box case. I think there's far fewer numbered cards here, so we should start picking up a little more steam. There's a baseball stars Marcus Simeon autograph to 50 for the A's. That'll be for Ryan. Again, all cards ship. We should be able to squeeze that. Uh, that hit parade break at the end of the evening. I think we're on a good pace for that, so stick around for that. Be a little bit later tonight. Can you open it so I can pass it? Here's Randy Arozarania. Yes. Open. Those are out of 2020, I think. Out of what? Those are numbered to 2020, I think, the uh, Arozarania. Oh, was it? Oh, yeah. There it is. 2020. Uh, Ray's edition that's going to go to Coppola. Another Arozarania, this one is the silver one. That's rookie Randy Arozarania's, by the way. So I think already hit a homer for the for the uh, Mariners, I think, last night. Obviously, we know that they're... Ooh, nice Derek Jeter here to 50. They definitely needed some help with the lumber. Hopefully, they're going to get that with... Randy Arzarania. They also needed a little help with cutting down on strikeouts. I think Justin Turner should help them with that. Uh, that 
Jason DeGrom to 2020. Josh Young. Do you think when the Olympics are here, you think it's going to be an S show or yeah. it will be like traffic and everything? It's way worse than the World Cup. Right. Because the World Cup is spread apart. Spread out. It's everything. There's uh, Steve Wilkerson to 2020. I mean, I don't know. I don't know how many people attend, but I imagine it's a lot. Yeah. Like opening ceremonies, where are they going to do it? I don't know. SoFi or the Coliseum. But like Paris, they like rode through the river, right? Yeah, I, I don't. I don't, I don't think. We're, I don't think we're gonna do that. Can you imagine? They got the banks there to. I was. I was saying they should close down the ten freeway, and just have like athletes in like classic cars. Yeah, that'd be cool. Like open top classic cars going down the ten. Kind of do a reverse OJ. Yeah. We should just go the OJ route. Just do the OJ route. And all white Ford Broncos. Yeah, downtown to Brentwood. And end at Rockingham. Yeah. All on one street. There's a 2017 MLB All-Star Relic Mookie Betts. DB, yes, we still do personal breaks on Instagram a few nights a week. Usually Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, Michael's gone, so he's not on tonight. Oh, that's right, yeah, Michael's out of town, so no no IG tonight. There's a Jeter, oh, I thought it was going to be, Jeter to 299 though, for John Jackson and the Yankees. But yeah, we still do personal breaks are on jaspies.com. And then case breaks are obviously on jaspiescasebreaks.com. Chad Dodd doesn't understand how baseball works. Now the Mariners score seven runs a game? Yeah. All, you know, I was trying to tell you that all it takes is really a bat or two to kind of change a lineup, but you kept saying, no, the Mariners will still be will still be leading in strikeouts and still won't be able to score runs. And Eeyore, you were just eeyore the whole time. You're just Eeyore. Oh, you're still eeyore but now you can't pitch. The Mariners fans can never be happy with with fans like Mariners fans. Who needs enemies? Who needs rivals? They try to help the offense, and now they're complaining about the pitching. Why didn't we get Tariq Skubal? Why didn't we get Jack Flaherty? Why didn't we get Paul Skeens? If it was my team, if it was. If I was the GM, I would have gotten Paul Skeens. Right. I would have gotten Bobby Witt Jr. Tariq Skubal. I would have gotten Shohei. Get Shohei, get Zach Gallen. Here's a rookie auto here. Diamondbacks, that would be for Adam Kupperman. You wanted Vlad. I don't think they were ever, I mean, were they ever trading him? I guess maybe, maybe they probably took phone calls, but. Sound like they were always gonna keep Vlad and Boba shut. What is that? Is that Platinum Metaverse? Yeah. I don't know what that silver pack is. I'll, I'll save it to you for you to open. Hmm, interesting. I mean, they weren't gonna take scrubs for, for Vlad. There's Luis Severino. I mean, they probably asked for like at least one of your top starters and one of your top prospects and then like Julio. <laughs> to which the Mariners would have said no.
Yeah, Harry Ford's not going to do it. I feel like they have a lot of catchers on that roster already. Can Harry Ford play elsewhere? I thought they had like Danny Jansen and Reese McGuire and like another third catcher that they have out there. Maybe they don't have catching. And here's UN assessments to 2020. Oh, Danny Jansen got traded, huh? I don't know. Either way, Harry Ford, Harry Ford is not going to get. It doesn't have the ceiling of. Uh, not have the ceiling of Vlad Guerrero Jr. So that's not going to do it. You're overestimating Harry Ford a lot. Do you even watch baseball, Chad? Do you think you thought Harry Ford was going to do it? They should have told the Blue Jays, hey, look at all that tape that Harry Ford, all that tape Harry Ford has from Team Great Britain. And the Blue Jays are like, if he was so good, why aren't you keeping him? Yes, I, I'm assuming there would be more, in all seriousness, there would be more to the trade, but it have to be a lot more, I think. Nolan Arenado, Rockies edition, piece of, piece of his lumber. Going to go to Tristan and the Rockies. I think Randy Arzurania was a good pickup. Justin Turner could be helpful as well. Here's uh, Wade LeBlanc to, two, to 2020. And that's without Julio, right? Julio's still out. Oh, nice. Justin Turner can be a little streaky, but he certainly will keep those, certainly won't strike out too much. I think his strikeout rates are usually pretty good historically. There's an uh, Angels Otani uh, bat relic. This will be for uh, John Jackson and the Halos. Did you have a chance to price the, the Keegan Murray? 
tenancy that comes with oh. it in my office? I think so. I'll have to look. Yeah. 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 Jazz Chisholm, just finding new life. Three run homer. It was Bo Bichette to 199. He's making, yeah, making Brian Cashman look like a genius. Yeah, Jack, he's looking pretty good. He's like, I'll, I'll, I'll play anywhere. You put me in any position, I'll be fine too. Uh, Mike Trout redemption, wow. It's expired, but I think they'll, they'll do something for you. John, Angels. Tops has been a lot better about doing something for you with those expired redemptions. Yeah, four homers in the past two games, Adam. He's been feeling hot, hot, hot. Nice, nice energy boost for the uh, for the Yankees. Diego Castillo to two twenty. Yeah. Who is that? Ballinger. Hmm. All right, clear some room for me. All right. I will. Okay. I'm gonna try to fly through these. Yankees memorabilia, more Jeter stuff for John Jackson and the Yankees. Yeah, I saw that too. Morell homered first game with the with the Rays. Mike Trout had another setback today. It's a shame. Just shut him down for the season. What are the Angels doing? Not trading Tyler Anderson. I think he's on a one-year deal. They're not going anywhere. He's just gonna walk in free agency. I guess this angels doing angels things. Here's a uh, to sixty nine. That's Christian Yelich. Here is a out of 199, Jonathan Daza autograph. That's for Tristan in the Rockies. Matt Olson, Matt Chapman to 2020.
is the sun. You can take a vacation for payments on the Gold State Line at the Mars and SUV PG Compass. The only other thing is the back yard and the most important SUV at Arizona Secure and Charity. Another one of those Derek Jeter commemorative relics for the Yankees. That'll be for John Jackson. Joey Bart, parallel. Jumbo. I think this case is a uh, platinum anniversary. We're making progress here. Gavin Lux starting to heat up a little bit. Enjoy that. It's nice. For the Dodgers. to 2020. Matt Chapman relic for the A's, Ryan. Asmani Tomas to 50, 44 out of 50 for Adam and the Diamondbacks. Yeah, once we and get through once we get through some of this early stuff, then I think it should be a lot easier. Bro, just just on the fire right now. I know. You see that he was using Aaron Judge's bat the other day? Yeah, he said I'm not using it too heavy. <laughs> Here's a Ryan McBroom. John Jackson with the Royals. He's like, I want to swing the bat. <laughs> He's like, I don't want to watch the, the Yeah, I don't want to get this. 
That's not that's not where my talents lie on base. My talents is putting the ball into the seats. Eric Davis to 2020, old school. See ya. Got an Alfonso Soriano commemorative relic. So I'm going to stack some platinum anniversary on the table here. So all the uh, platinum is all the way all around over here. Let's finish the update. Roberto Clemente, 4 out of 50. That'll go to Kane and the Pirates. Bryce Harper for the Phillies. That relic is going to go to David M. Who do you have for Olympic golf, Nick? Who's going to, who's going to win the gold? Scotty. Scotty's going to win the gold? Or Ludwig. Ludwig. 
think I think Morikawa wins the gold wow. for the for the U.S. That's the 2020. Bobby Bradley, 49 out of 99 for Cleveland. Smoky Betts. Mario Diaz to 2020. Big Jock Peterson relic. Dodgers, that's going to go to Matt. Nice low number, too, 4 out of 15. Here is an Orioles auto, Tom Eshelman. Rookie auto for the O's, John Jackson. To 35 out of 69, Matt Davidson for the Reds.
got a 2020 Javier Baez. All right, and that is it for update. And we've got 12 boxes of Platinum Anniversary. Remember, these are all facsimile autographs. You know what? I have not. I just watched it for the first time. I hear it's great. Amazing. That's with uh, Woody, Harrelson. Woody Harrelson, right. There's uh, Norhe Ruiz to 50. That'll be for the A's. And Adley Rushman, rookie auto, 66 out of 99. John Jackson, the Orioles. There we go. That's the kind of stuff we want to see here. Yeah, I do too. I don't mind it. And here's Yanir Diaz. Are there two autos a box? Yeah. Nice. We'll see a lot of ink here. Matt Arnold with the Strohs. John Gray to four ninety nine. Pops logo fracture. Jared Walsh, Tops Logo Fractor to $4.99 for the Halos. Uh, Nick Senzel to $100. Michael Harris. Got Willie McCovey to 50, Gold Wave. Max Scherzer to 99, 54 out of 99 for the Rangers. And Caleb Hamilton, rookie autograph for the Red Sox, Chris Parent with the Bo Sox. Speckle Chris Sale to 150 Red Sox. Trevor Story to 199 for the Red Sox. Jorge Basada to 499 Yankees. Hip hip Jorge. Out of 99, Will Benson, Green Wave. Jose Canseco to 100. Rafael Palmero for the Rangers, Joel, of Texas. Matt Former to 99 for the Cubs. Paul O'Neill to 99, Yankees. That's a real JT Real Muto to 75. Willie Ademis to 50, Gold Wave. Bagwell to 499, Logo Fractor. 
Awesome hedges to tw uh, 25. Orange, orange wave. Some Inwood Richardson to 199. Twins. Jeff McNeil to 100. Mets. And Bailey Falter. 82 out of 150. Rookie auto for David M. and the Phillies. Dre Jameson to 199. Tops logo fracker. Michael Stefanik to 50. True gold for the Angels. Both stacks had Casey Mize on the bottom there. Randall Grichuk to four ninety nine for the Angels. Matt Mervis to one hundred. Mariano Rivera. Got out of 99, Dylan Carlson got traded today. Cardinals. We'll get a fresh start somewhere else. Ralph Kiner to 499. Still 150, Michael Ciani. There's our autograph, Jose Buto. Rookie auto for the Mets. John G. for the Metropolitans. Jesse Winker to 199 Brewers Edition. Anthony Rizzo to 499. And Evan Lee, Nationals, Adam Kupperman. Got another auto here. It is Caleb Hamilton, 85 out of 150 for Chris and Boston. Uh, Ryan McMahon to 99, Rockies. We got Evan Longoria to 499, Lobo Fractor. Got Nick Senzel to 10. For the Reds. It'll be for John Jackson. Yeah. And I got one more case to open. I imagine you're good with uh, me opening immaculate. Yeah, I think I'll be fine after that. Flawless and terrific. Look, I think he's in front of, I think, a different defense here. Different ballpark, different environment. You know, I mean, I talked to him yesterday. He's really excited. Made a little bonus pack here as well. Bowman Jumbo, 2021? Yep. Each two stacks is one. Got it.
that right there. Thanks. Yeah, already Moreno, what's the plan? Here's Whitey, four to 75. Zach Wheeler to 499. It's 96 out of 99, Shea Langliers. Autograph for Oakland, that'll be for Ryan. Casey Schmidt to four ninety nine for the Giants. Uh Avisel Garcia to hundred. CC Sabathia to 75. Darvish to 499. They don't have the best pizza place we should go to in New York City. Where's the best pizza place? Yeah, that's what we need to know. Oh. We need to find out from customers. There are 80 boxes in this break. Don't say Sabara. Uh, an Adley rookie auto out of 99. Yeah. Adley auto. There's Mark Teixeira to 25. Uh, 75, Miguel Cabrera. Jared Walsh to 99. See you guys. You can leave the um, gate open. Thanks. Zach Granke to 100. Will Benson autograph. Cleveland, this is for you. Jason Kirsch. Michael Ciani to four ninety-nine. Mark Vientos to one fifty. Yeah, well, some time after the show, I think. Get some good off. Yeah. New Yorkers. If you're listening. Best pizza around the Javits Center. Or maybe beyond if it's worth it. Corbin Carroll, one out of five. Rookie, one out of five. Adam Copperman. That's nice. That's real nice. Rookie, Corby, one out of five. Color match. Nice. And all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. I think he's a buy right now. Corbin Carroll? Yeah. I think so too. He's just, just a little sophomore slump. It's fine. It happens to a lot of players. Bounce back. You're welcome, Adam. Thanks for getting in. That's the kind of stuff you can get in addition to mantle entries, all that good stuff. Here's Gavin Stone, Gold Wave to 50. Um, that will be Matt and my Dodgers. We're playing the Padres tonight. 
Julio Rodriguez to 99. Jordan Walsh to uh, 75. Jose Canseco to 499. And here's Caleb Killian, 80 out of 199 for the Cubos. That's going to be for Adam. What's, uh, I don't think the Yankees, I think the Mets are in town, but I don't know if their playing schedule is favorable yeah, for us. Because it's like, it's either day games or like the start time's like six thirty. Yeah. And so by the time we even get there, with the with the way with baseball, clock. yeah, with pitch clock era, you know, be the fifth, that sixth, that game would be pretty much over, and it would be leaving, flushing by the time we get there. Uh, Clemente, that's to four ninety nine. The tops logo fractor. Vientos to 99, speaking of the Mets, and Brian Bello, rookie auto for Bayo. Bayo to Chris Parent and the Red Sox. Robin Yount to 499. Yeah, I think Saturday night will be our night to go. Go hard. To go hard? Yeah, we, we need a night to... To go hard? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like that... Because Sunday nothing's going on. Nothing really happens, yeah. We can just... Chill out. Here's Esteban Cueros to 199. Where was where was that bar that your cousin works at? Somewhere in Brooklyn. We'll have to find out. To yeah. 75, Shane Beaver. Some free drinks, maybe? Yeah, I'll go, I'll go over the river. For free into, into Brooklyn for, yeah. Or at least discounted, right? Something. Something. I don't know. Marin, Marin should start yeah, should start Marin. connecting with her and be like, hey, remember we met at that yeah. wedding like years ago? We're going to be in New York. How things going? Adam Bodenstein says, if you'd venture into Brooklyn, go to Defara or uh, Lucalis. If you want to stay in Manhattan, go to Joe's, Scars, or Prince Street Pizza. This is 75. I think that new Prince resort... Prince Street has some here. Yeah. The new resort casino. Here's another out of five. Jack Larson for the Giants. Red Lava. The Durango in Vegas. I think they have a great food court, which also includes a Prince Street pizza. I've heard many good things about it. We'll go to the source, maybe. Yeah. Giants. That's going to be John. John Jackson all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -hoo. Michael Scott re uh, recommends Sabaro. Nick already said, don't say Sabaro, as we know. Joe's not an Office US fan. He's only um, UK. Yeah, I'm only Office UK, so I actually don't know what that reference is. The show that was so bad it got canceled. Uh, no. Office UK was pre planned to have two seasons and a Christmas special. They, it's a, it's they a all say that. Tight writing, tight show. Jim Edmonds to 50. Cardinals, that's going to go to uh, Kane. The uh, Jared Schuster will go to the Braves. That will be for Alex Back. Back, 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 back. Johns of Bleecker Street is also good. I want to, to write these down. Here's Kyle Schorber to 99. Are you going to remember these, Nick? Yeah. Okay. I've heard of some of these, but I've never... Really Nick Senzel to 100. I've been to this good deli on Bleecker Street. There's also a card shop on Bleecker Street. It's called Bleecker Street Card, Yeah. That kind of half opened in Santa Monica and then didn't? Yeah, now it's something different. Or now it's like a different owner. Isn't Bleecker Street also where, is also where uh, Doctor Strange lives? Lives? He could be right. I think that that's on Bleecker Street, maybe. 
Here's uh, Logan Webb to 199, Giants. Where he's got his like lair. Yeah, whatever that that house is. It's like a, a magic. We're staying near the Ghostbusters fire engine. Oh, that's kind of cool. There's Chin Ming Wong to 50. I ain't afraid of no ghost. Yeah, I'll definitely go there. Here's Will Myers to 199 Reds. I've only seen the first one. So. That's probably all you need to see. Okay. Maybe the second one. Your DJ LeMayhew to what about 100. The new Paul Rudd ones? I heard the Paul Rudd ones are actually kind of decent. What about the Melissa McCarthy one? I heard that's not good. That was pandering. <laughs> pandering to a certain market. There's uh, Jose Buto to 499. And here's Vaughn Grissom to 199. Rookie auto for the Braves. That'll be for Alex in Atlanta. All right, platinum is done. And now we're on to uh, 2021 Bowman Baseball Jumbo. I think Nick's ripping, what are we ripping? Tops Chrome right now. Bowman Chrome. Bowman Chrome right now, 2021. And then we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. It says 2021. I hope so. Yeah. I, I, we may have to talk to, to intake team, but there was a disaster that could have happened. Whoa. What was the disaster? There was a near disaster. Three cases of Tops Chrome Black in the back. Two, oh, mark, I saw this. two mark 2024, one, but only no, one. But right? only one was 2024. Oh no! I grabbed the 2021 case that was 2024, and I don't know. And some gut instinct made me think maybe I should look up those FGC numbers on it. Wow! So we really only had one case of 2024. I was wondering why you didn't repost it. Hence, that. why I didn't repost it. I was gonna get mad. It. Right. Right, and you'd be uh, like, Joe, there's more 2024, and I was wow. then I was gonna fire back. Guess what? Wow. You gotta talk to your store team, <laughs> your intake team, who marked wow. two 2021 cases as wow. 2024. That's shocking. Yeah. So now that makes me question the entire existence of the of the of the, of the label marketing. I mean, that's not good. No. I mean, you know, if this was like someone else. That case would have been just ripped open. Yeah, if we and were not in America and we were in like a, you know, crazy country. Yeah, Jose Rodriguez, White they don't Sox. Have jobs anymore. Right, correct. John Jackson, last spot mojo. But luckily, we, we live in a society. Yeah, a civilized society. Yeah. Thank you, Oliver. There's Trevor Larnock to 250 for the Twin Cities. Well, I wouldn't go that far. Joe saved the day. I saved a break. I saved a break. I saved a break. But you would have seen them year on the first box, hopefully. Well, yeah, but then you have a box that's ripped open, and that turns loose into, box. yeah, we got some loose boxes. Then we got to get Teddy to sell those. Personal because we opened and up a fresh case. About yeah, not moving top chrome black that Joe accidentally and, uh, opened up. VHS Got to tape. try to put some stuff it's on the VHS showroom tape. floor, and then we just end up using we them as fillers. And they're they're in the they're three out of five. Emerson Hancock. Nice. This Hancock goes to Ken with the Mariners. Three out of five. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Nice Hancock. Take Joe Burrow's new hair. Uh, it was interesting. It looks it looks very clean. It looks very it looks very fresh. Even the blonde. Yeah, I don't mind it. Kind of like Brooks Kepka. Did that. Brooks Kepka did did yeah, that. Yeah, it was like during COVID. I vaguely remember this. Eminem. Yeah, maybe he really likes the new album. I think it's a distraction. 
They're talking about his hair, not, not, not his game. Not ball. You know? Yeah, not ball. Do his offense linemen like this? You know? No. Oh, nice, Robert Hassel. One fifty out of one fifty. Padres, John Jackson. Chat. What do we think about uh, Joe Burrow's hair? It's got a nice, clean buzz cut, bleached blonde. He said he got it professionally done, and then he's been doing the touch-ups himself. Is it a distraction? Maybe it is. Maybe Why are you focusing on hair and not on ball? That's true. But maybe it was hot, and he was just like, I'm just going to do this so I don't have to worry about combing my hair. Do you think Belichick cares about his haircut? No, Belichick cares about that 25-year-old girl that he's dating. He might do whatever she might do whatever she says. You know, Brady wasn't dying his hair. Brady was not dying his hair, but you know, David Beckham changed his hair a lot. Yeah, but he was thirty-seven out of fifty. Josh Donaldson. He was a distraction. He had a distracting life. That's true. Austin Clayton Beater to four ninety-nine, who I think is in New York now. I guess he'd never won a World Cup. He won some titles with Man United, though, and Real Madrid, in spite of his hair, or because of his hair. Yeah, then he was abandoning LA Galaxy for. Right. There's Hyun Il Choi. Oh, I was going to ask you, Nick, since you're here, Matt Lee with the Dodgers. What is our setup going to be like at Fanatics Fest, which mid-August will be there in New York City, if anybody wants to hang out? Like, is there a Flip table? Oh, okay, so we're going to... There won't be one permanent spot where we're breaking? Oh, yeah, we do have a table. Oh, we do have a table. Numbers, oh, okay, okay. Great, so there will be a central location for you guys to stop by and say hello if you'd like. Uh, purple Paper, Jason Rosario to 250. That will be for the Red Sox. Oh, are they? Um, go, go Google Fanatics Fest NYC and you'll be able to uh, see the prices. I think day passes were like 50 bucks for adults and 20 or 30 bucks for kids. If you want to bring the kids. I saw something where you can, they're going to let you There's three play day like packages. this giant WWE entry stage and you can choose your intro song and you can, they film a Intro. For <laughs> really? You coming out of the tunnel. That's kind of fun. Yeah, it's like, like, oh my god, there's the Beginning <laughs> yeah, Express! Yeah. <laughs> and I just go out there? Do I get the announcers too? Yeah. That's the Beginning Express music! And then... Oh, god. oh my god! You know, like... The American Nightmare is in trouble! The Beginning Express coming out would of you nowhere! Would you sprint out? Yeah, like I would sprint out and like slide right under the bottom, yeah. bottom rope and I'd pop up. And <laughs> that's what I do. I, I don't. I wouldn't do a slow one. I just. I just sprint. I'm sprinting do down. Like no, I'm sprinting I mean, down. I would do like Undertaker. I think you can pull that off. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like I'm just gonna go high energy. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna sprint down the ramp, jump under the bottom rope, slide right into the ring, you know, and then just execute a move on some to some dude. And then I then I flex maybe a little bit after that. Then I maybe go to a corner. Yeah. And then. You know, and start start egging on the crowd. Yeah. Nice, Adam. Yeah, I hope we hope to see you there. Um, and uh, on Saturday, yeah, we'll be there on. I think Friday and Saturday will be our, our main days. I think it'll be kind of kind of light on a uh, light on um, Sunday, but. Yeah, we'll be there. Josh, looks like the man drawing is tomorrow at 4 p.m. Pacific. Is that correct? Yes. I would not lie to you in that break schedule. I wrote, I wrote that myself. Nothing has changed since I, I, I wrote that. People are like, too good to be true. 
You're like, I can't believe it's actually happening. Is that, for, is that for reals? It is. We are for reals doing the drawing. Tell your friends. Tell everyone to watch. Subscribe to our channel. We'll show have a lot of eyeballs there. It'll be, it'll be appointment viewing, as they say. All right, thank you, sir. And there's right, Mac two, Wainwright. Two, 20? two hours and 20 minutes. We're excellent time here. Time to do another hit parade. Could. Those are those are real easy. Those are fun. Yeah, I think they made 20 cases. So we should have 10 breaks, right? Like 10. Another out of five. Red paper, Justin Foscu. Red paper for Joel and the Rangers. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Um, but there's not like a guaranteed case, like, case hit per. Um, gotcha. Break. I think I noticed that because there was no case hit slip inside. There's Brady Encarnacion. I don't know if that's the first question, Oliver. That's more of a confirmation. We did not set parameters. There's Jackson Coart at 75. Royals. I think the I think the over under was people saying when. Josh clearly looked at the break schedule as, which is appreciated, and and looked at the time and just wanted to confirm. 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern. I think we were talking about just people who were just, you know, blatantly not looking at the pinned chat. And then would be like, hey, so the man will randomize her after this? Those are the people that we were, we were talking about, I think. Yeah, we may have set this line poorly, which I think is good. That means people are paying attention to the pinned uh, Q&A, looking at the break schedule, and uh, you know, I'm all about, I'm all about uh, teaching people to fish instead of giving them the fish. People are learning. I like it. We got Stevie Emanuel's eight out of fifty. That's for the Oakland A's, Ryan Devlin. I think I'm going to do the recap video in a completely different video, ladies and gentlemen. So just, just keep that in mind. It's going to be a long one. Uh, can you leave the gate open? Yes. Thanks. Yeah, we want to we want to educate educate collectors. That's that's our that's our jam.
to order a little bit of food. Let's switch to the Dodgers game. Oliver, who is is a uh, Who's available? For the, is, is Michael Kopeck available in the bullpen? Yeah, I think I will take a break. Um, once my food arrives, I'll take a quick five or ten. Kopeck is dressed. Nice. I think. What's the main issue with Michael Kopech? Is the walks right? Maybe gives up the gives up the homer a little bit as well, even though he has a lot of strikeouts too. So he needs to we need a, the Dodgers need to find yeah a little wild right? Dodgers need to find uh, control. Okay, Dodgers need to try to try to rein that in somehow. I feel like the Dodgers pitching staff coaches are actually pretty good and always a. Uh, Fix some guys, but if we can kind of rein the wildness in a little bit, Dodgers could use one of those like one of those guys. We don't know how Bruce R. Gratterall is going to look when he comes back. Here's Jay Getter. Yeah, I got to put that Mark Pryor pixie dust on him. Tristan with the Marlins. So I'm, ho I'm hoping the Dodgers pitching staff can not fix him, but just, you know, get him under control a little bit. If they got like, if they got like Joe Kelly, a healthy Bruce Star Gratterall, and now Michael Kopech. You know, that's pretty good. And if some of these starters can start pitching a little bit deeper into games, fifth, sixth inning would be nice. So I'm feeling kind of good, especially with Jack Flaherty on the Dodgers now. I didn't watch the pregame show, Oliver, any, or anybody else who knows the answer. Any word on when Jack Flaherty's first start will be? Did he make his start? No, he didn't make his start the other day. They scratched him from the start yesterday. And he got he was signed today. Here's a Rendon yellow paper to 75. The deal was announced just before the deadline. Here's Dylan Dingler to three. So he's probably on a plane. Where, where are the where are the Tigers? Are they in Detroit? Maybe they're in Cleveland. So he's probably on a flight right now. Maybe he starts tomorrow? Just jump right in there. Here's Luis Santana to 4-9. Crazy thing, I mean, not crazy, but great thing is, so he doesn't have to really worry about where to stay in L.A. I think his parents still live in L.A. He just crashes his parents' house until he finds an apartment. There's Luis Santana to 4.99. Astros, that'll be for Matt Arnold. I don't know where he makes his off. Maybe he does make his off-season home here. Maybe he has an off-season home here. Here's a 299 Casey Martin for the Phillies. Yeah, Mom Meadlow. Now, what was uh, remember the Giants quarterback Tommy DeVito who still lived at home and he was starting games for the Giants? What what did he have? He had something. He had a particular food that he, he like loved. He was like, cutlets, that's right, chicken cutlets. He was like, mom's chicken cutlets. Here's Blaze Jordan, nice. Bowen first autograph to 250. That will be for Chris Parent and the Red Sox, right? Tommy Cutlets. What a story. And like his buddy that was an agent that, that looked like a, 
a, a mobster stereotype from like the 1920s. There was a card stuck behind there. There we go. That was a fun time. Or maybe like a WWE manager. It's a home run for Kevin Biggio? Kevin Biggio is like, uh, I would still like to play. I would still like to get regular playing time. I know you got Ahmed Rosario. I know you got Tommy Edmond. He's going to make it difficult on the team. That's great. There's Alexander Ramirez, 135 out of 499. What is Kevin Biggio's like ceiling? Or what was it when he, I guess when he was more of a prospect? There's Grayson Rodriguez to 150. I think, I think decent deep, good glove, good baseball IQ. But I don't, I don't know what his sort of ceiling is in terms of hitting. Not, I don't think it was power, though. There's a Dylan Carlson to 125, Bowen Scouts top 100. Getting a change of scenery. Uh, wait, shoot. Don't I have this guy on my fantasy team, though? <laughs> I need the Dodgers to score all these runs after he gets out of the game, after he goes five or six strong. Is this Matt Waldron starting? Damn. Yeah, I think Tommy Edmonds still a couple weeks away. Daniel Montano. I think he's recovering from a wrist surgery, um, if I remember correctly. This is going to be for Tristan of the Rockies. But his his uh, his um, progress has been delayed by, I think, not the wrist issue, which is good. But I think he was working on some stuff, and he stepped on a a base, a second base, I think, awkwardly and turned an ankle. Pretty sure that's him. I think so. That's what's been derailing, derailing his uh, his comeback here. I think Adam has the Kupperman has the Cubs. He was looking for Chris Morrell first here somewhere, maybe an auto. Edmund will be back in a week. Okay. Do you think? Do we think Edmund plays every day? What's the What's the plan? Or I guess more more platoon type stuff. I think Edmund's a much more reliable fielder too. Andy Pajes in center sometimes makes me nervous. That, that will That will not play in the playoffs. So maybe Edmund will get more starts in center with somebody else. Chris Taylor maybe, yeah. He's been doing okay if he comes back. I don't know how well he's going to come back. What about Ahmed Rosario? Is he going to play every day? I suppose he could play short every day. 
Gavin Lux still at second, while Mookie Betts gets healthy, and then Miguel Rojas is, is on the IL as well. So yeah, I guess Ahmed Rosario will play short every day. Here's Shane Bieber, paper to one uh, to four ninety nine. Daniel Espino to one ninety nine for Cleveland. Or yeah, does Nick Ahmed play short, and Ahmed Rosario play, could could shift over to third maybe? He's more of an outfielder now. I mean, stick him in the outfield too. Keep Edmund in the Edmund and Nick Ahmed in the infield. Better gloves. Put him in the outfield. Left field would, would be pretty good. Dodgers could put him in a corner outfield spot. Teoscar could be in another corner outfield spot. And then platoon in center field. Hey, Riley Green. Nice. Bowman Scouts top 100. Autograph. Five out of 50. That's a nice one for the Tigers. Tristan. This guy's just got to stay healthy. And Hyun Il Choi to 499. Gavin Lux to 150. He's playing a lot better in the last couple weeks or so. Got it. Ahmed is Taylor. Edmund is Kike. And Biggio is Biggio. That does kind of make the bench a little deeper, which I also like. Some good defensive replacements for the end of games. I don't mind having Ahmed Rosario hitting 300-ish at the bottom of the lineup, closer to the bottom of the lineup. Wait, what's the lineup today? Oh, right, there's Kevin Crimea too. That's another good... Defensive replacement. Wow, Lux is betting third tonight? Yeah, kind of bare bones. Let's see if let's see how Lux does. Uh, he had an RBI, I guess. How do you get that RBI? Sacrifice? There's Junior Severino, 004 out of 150. Sacrifice. Really? Has he been playing batting third for a few nights now? All right, Gavin. So there's CJ Chatham to 299. Believe it or not, I need a fourth monster box here.
Here's Altuve to 399. You hear the Danny Jansen thing that could happen. What Danny Jansen thing? Matthew Thompson to 499. So we got Show, Smith, Lux, Teo, then Hayward, Pagas, Vigio, and and uh, Nick Ahmed. Got it. Here is Andrew Vaughn. That looked different, but it's not. Beck Way, three forty nine out of four ninety nine. Yankees, that's going to be for John Jackson. Austin Hendrick to 250, purple paper. Danny Jansen could become the first family player to play for two teams in the same game when the Red Sox and Blue Jays resume. Their sus wow, that's kind of crazy. That's right, that game was suspended so he could show up. Wait, you know what? I was, I'm just listening to Joe Davis in the background of the Dodgers game saying that the Dodgers have been stockpiling a lot of shortstops, which is true. Do you think that Mookie Betts moves back to the outfield? Yeah, I think that might be setting a Mookie back to the outfield. There's uh, Herberto Hernandez. So you put him in right and you move Teoscar to left and you platoon center. Is that the idea? And then platoon short. And platoon third base and hope that Muncie comes back healthy. I guess Edmund could play third. I don't, I don't mind his glove at third, at the hot corner, and maybe some decent hit-speed combo at the bottom of the order. Hmm. Wait, Joel Youngblood played for two teams in the same day? But, but not the same game though, right? I think Oliver, or Rex is saying the same game is the record. Yeah, the defense, I think, was definitely a, a concern. Andy Pajas has not looked super sharp in the outfield. He can hit a little bit. But now I like him as sort of a, 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 a bat off the bench, I think, would be pretty nice. You know, or he could even start at center, maybe platoon with Outman or somebody, but then Crimea would be a great defensive replacement in the back, like third of a game or something like that. To make a traded player do what? Oh, play against your old team? I mean, I don't think it's as, as, as traumatic as, as, you know, that, as fans may think. It's a business. They're getting well compensated to, uh, you know, they're getting well compensated to, uh, to do this, and they know the consequences of, those, of that compensation. And um, remember, it's uh, all of these, everything in Major League Baseball is collectively bargained as well. So they, they agreed to it. All the players and owners agreed to this. 
So it's not like it's not like oh you know one side is putting it over on the another side. No, they collectively bargained this. They've discussed and they said this is this is what it is. Nick Gonzalez to two ninety nine. Does he purposely bomb with the Sox against his current team? No, I don't think no 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 athlete makes it to this pro level thinking about bombing. You know that's that's loser mentality and 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 te- players that players that reach this level of their profession. You know you're you're thinking you're thinking I. I want to. I don't care what team I'm on. I'm. I want to crush the baseball. I want to play well. I want to put up numbers. It's Chris Bryant to two ninety nine. Cubs. Uh, there's Hunter Bishop to 299. Well, Javier Baez has the comfort of a gigantic contract, so that's a little bit different from the Danny Jansen situation. Yes, you can get a big contract and then end up, then end up just. Uh, Taking the foot off the gas. Crimea would have got that. There's Jose Salas. That's for Tristan and the Fish. Here is Garrett Mitchell. Green paper to three ninety nine. Here's Nick Gonzalez for the Pirates. It's Kiermeyer. What did I say? Didn't I say Kiermeyer? Or did I say Crimea, like the Crimean Ocean in the in the Baltic? Kiermeyer. Yeah, I suppose I should. Of course, I should know how to say his name. Officially, not he's a Dodger. Kiermeyer? Kiermeyer? Kiermeyer. It's Brendan Davis to 99. Right, yeah, if Rex had said it, I'd definitely be like, let's go fact check that. With good reason, Rex. You've, you've given us many reasons over the years to, uh, to always fact check what, what you say. I'm not even sure if that Danny Jansen story is real or not. Out of 150, Heston Kirkstad. Positional promise for the O's, John Jackson.
Kier, Kiermaier a river? Crimea River? Final couple boxes here. Blake Walston to 99. Kier Meyer is, is confirmed, Oliver says. They don't have a pronunciation guide in the uh, in, on Baseball Reference. But Wikipedia does. Kier Meyer. Kier Meyer. And Isaac is Itzak, not Isaac, Itzak Paredes. Jose Rodriguez, 68 of 100, Atomic Refractor Autograph for John and the White Sox. Last spot, Mojo. Oh, right. That makes sense. Rex would know because Kevin Kiermeyer uh, is, a, is a local guy for Rex. Fort Wayne. Is he the biggest name to come out of Fort Wayne, Rex? Who's the biggest athlete to come out of that area? Here's Zach Veen. 417 out of 499. Nice, uh, nice autograph for... Tristan in the Rockies. Jose Salas to Eat sock Paredes went over four tonight, says Rex. <laughs> Meanwhile, Christopher Morel is hitting bombs for his new team. Aros Arrhenia is hitting bombs for his new team. Jazz Chisholm hitting bombs for his new team. It's just the Cubs effect, I guess. has been credited for being the birthplace of the of the NBA when Four Wayne Pistons owner brokered the merger of the ABA, BAA and the MBL in the 1940s from his kitchen table. And I was more curious about athletes, but that's that's a fun fact. Oliver's wondering if the the Plumley brothers are from Four Way. Mason Plumley and why am I blanking on the other Plumley? And the other Plumley. Miles, that's right, Miles Plumley. And then a th there's a third Plumley. I'm sure it's another M name. I say 
Mike Michael Plumley. Miles Mason and But they probably they'll, they'll spell Miles differently. Rod Woodson apparently is Rex is saying is probably the most famous person out of Fort Wayne. Here's Daniel Montano. Rookie auto for the Rockies. It's gonna be for for Tristan, not rookie auto, but Bowman first auto for Tristan. Nice, Gavin Lux on base. Oliver, are, are we are we finally seeing the Ron or the Ron, Are we finally seeing the Gavin Lux that we were hoping to see before his knee injury? Huge for the Dodgers if uh, Gavin Lux's speed, he could be a doubles machine. I think the year before he was injured, I think he was a lot of triples, a lot of doubles. Great spark plug to turn over the lineup toward at the bottom. Is Yoelki Cespedes? For the White Sox, also for John Jackson. So if the Dodgers can get that production from it towards the bottom of the lineup, I feel a lot more confident going into postseason. Who's out? Who's Andrew Salfrank? Now I'm, I'm talking about notable names, Rex. I don't. I don't, I don't need it. I don't, I don't need Andrew Salfrank. Here's Andy Rodriguez for the Mets. That'll be for John. Nick York to 75. Boston. Chris Parent. Coming off of that pitch. 
Goldschmidt purple paper to 250 for the Cardinals. Josh Young. 25 out of 99. Green mini diamonds for Texas. That will be for Joel. And there's Herberto Hernandez, 10 out of 150. Blue, a little good color match there, Joel with the Rangers. All right, that's for Adam Kupperman. And the Cubos. And there's Ivan Johnson to 399. We're done. Update case done. So what is this? This is 2021 Bowman Chrome Baseball. You know, and then and then we're 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 on the home stretch. Then we'll do tribute, immaculate, flawless, emerald to the good stuff here. All the all the stacks right there. So each stack is a uh, box. All right, good luck. This is 20, once again, 2021 Bowman Chrome, keep that in mind. There's Drew Romo to $4.99, Refractor. Top loader box. We got Tyler Keenan. 169 out of 499. It's going to go to uh, Ken in Seattle. Logan Gilbert to 125. Signs and says, hey, Kendallville, home, home of Brad Miller. Anthony Walters. That'd be kind of cool to have. Uh, that'll be for John G and the Mets. Tanner Hawk Tua, 65 out of 250. Purple Chrome for Boston. That'll be for Chris Parent. Hassan Kim, rookie card to 150 for the Padres. That'll be for John J. And there's Josh Winkowski, who opted for the Black Ink. It's going to be for Chris in Boston. Oh, there's Tommy Edmund right there. Yeah, it's been awesome. It felt a little weird to put on the Dr. Blue first, but I'm really looking forward to 
So is he done with rehab assignment? Emerson Hancock to four ninety nine. I thought he was like a week away. Or maybe he's doing the, his final sort of tune-up with the team, I guess. Here's Malfren Sosa, 61 out of 99. That will be for Dean and the Twins. Braylon Marquez, 299. Cubs, Adam. David Garcia, Rangers. It's going to be for Joel. Andres Jimenez to two ninety nine. Yes, they uh, they announced those new kicking rules earlier this year. Um, I actually don't quite know how that's going to play out in in practice, but it's Bobby Wood Jr. to 150, but I think that's opened up the return game in a, in a sort of a different way. Sean Roby, autograph for John Jay and the Giants. Dalton Varsho, 75. It's Diamondbacks, Dalton Varsho, by the way. That's for Adam. Austin Wells to 250. Purple Shimmer. And a Alexander Vizcaino. Redemption. It's going to go to the Yanks. That'll be for John Jake. Show it L to four ninety nine. Matt Scheffler, two thirty four out of four ninety nine. Uh, not related to Scotty Scheffler. Edward Perez to 199 for the Brew Crew. That'll be for Tristan. Gabriel Maciel. Dean with the Twins. Logan Gilbert to 199. Mariners. JJ Blade to 199. And Milker Perez for Seattle. That'll be your. Uh, Seattle autograph going to Kent and the M's. Brady Singer to Manuel Rodriguez to 299. Another twin for Dean.
Edy Cap, Green Shimmer, 35 out of 99. Jagger Haynes, Mick Jagger Haynes for the Padres. That'll be for John Jay. Armando Cruz, Speckle to 299. Justin Martinez, autograph for Adam and the Diamondbacks. Grayson Rodriguez to 250. Ryan Ramos for the White Sox. John Jay. Tyler, what are you doing? Casey Myers to 99 for the Tigers. And there's Julio Carreras for the Rockies. That's for Tristan. Cody Ballinger to 250. Uh, for the Dodgers. Dodgers edition for Matt. And there's Andrew Kneisner? Kneisner? Is it a silent K? Neisner? 39 out of 150. Arizona Fall League. Flashbacks relic. Oh, this driver did not follow instructions. He went to the wrong place. Now you got to go all the way around. You're going to realize that that area is going to be closed as well. Uh, this is going to be for the Cardinals. Pete Alonso to 250 and Johendrick Penango for Adam and the Cubs. Braden Shoemate, Purple Shimmer to 250. That will be for Alex and the Braves. And Pablo Abreu, Brew Crew, that'll be for Tristan. Luis Medina to 250. He figured it out. After this set of uh, boxes here, I'm going to take a quick, like, 10, 15 minute intermission here. It's Matthew Libertor to 50. Kind of want to clean up this area here. Here's a Mizell Urbina. Scarf down a little bit of food. And then we'll come right back. I need some more trash can space for the future cases that we have here. There's Matthew Libertor to 99. 
There's Aldo Ramirez for the Red Sox, Chris. Austin Meadows to 299. Wander Franco. Justin Martinez, 139 out of 250. Purple Chrome autograph for the Snakes, Adam. For the Diamondbacks. Bryce Harper refractor to four ninety nine. Jefferson Cuero. Almost missed that tiny little autograph there. That's going to go to the Brew Crew, Tristan. Julio Carreras to 199, rocks. Carlos Colmenares to four ninety nine. Baron Radcliffe, Phillies. That'll be for David M. Sixto Sanchez. Carlos Rodriguez, 93 out of 150. Tristan and the Brewers. Fernando Tatis Jr. to 299 for the Padres. That'll be for John Jay. In the final 2021 Bowman Chrome Hobby Box. We have David Garcia, Speckle Autograph, 200 out of 299 for Texas. That'll be for Joel. Ronnie Maurizio to 299. Alexander Mojica, Speckle, to 299. Tyler Keenan for the Mariners. That's for Ken. Pete Alonso to four ninety nine for the Mets. And that is that. All right, so we're going to come back. We're going to do tribute. We're going to take a brief little intermission here. Wow, what a catch by Machado. When we come back, we'll do tribute. Uh, oh, I'm also going to pause the video right here as well. So stick around. BRB.
All right, welcome back everybody. Thanks for your patience. The intermission is over. Time to get tribute going. So here's what we got. Here's a little recap. We did all these other cases. Big thanks to Nick Jaspi who helped pack sack and made this break hours shorter. Um, we're going to do the tribute case right here. Then we'll do immaculate. Then we'll do flawless and then emerald. Yeah, maybe flawless and then emerald. There's going to be some really nice things in that, that emerald case right there. So we'll close out with that hit parade. And for some of you may be thinking, Joe, isn't there a hit parade break sold out? Are you going to be able to do that? The answer is yes, I will. So, and then after that, we might be close to the close to the end here. So if you look at the, if you click this link in the chat, that's the break schedule. Um, so I'm writing in there. Uh, mantle chase mixer, then hit parade filler plus the break, then good night. Well, I don't know. We might have time. Then something else. We might have time to do a quick little break. I think we're we're on a good time trajectory there. All right, onwards. Definitely feel re-energized here. Down the home stretch. I don't have an exact time for that hit parade break, but it will be after this. We, I, I will do it. The thing is, there's a lot of post production that I've got to do here too. It's the other thing. Let's see. I can move you out of the way. Trash can over here. I gotta print out a bunch of labels for these, multiple labels. But good news is we're we're almost there. I think the there's a blank or a, not a blank, but there's cards on the bottom. Okay, I remember the pattern here. Let's keep that on camera. Box one, here's uh, Manny Machado to 99. And then Bryce, Kershaw, Ernie, Yogi, and Spencer Stratton. And then behind Will Clark is Daryl Strawberry, 96 out of 150 for the Mets, John G. And the Metropolitans. And Matt Olson shows a Curtis Mead, 68 out of 150. For the Rays, that'll be for Coppola. Rangers, Nolan Ryan, and a triple relic, Miguel Cabrera, 134 out of 199. Nice Miggy. Uh, Tristan and the Tigers, Tiger uppercut. Adley Rushman shows a dual relic, Adrian Beltre and Ivan Rodriguez, 99 out of 99. Couple Rangers legends there. That's going to be for uh, Joel and Texas. And here's Jordan Alvarez with the uh, hologram sticker in there. 
MLB.com slash authentication. If you take a look at the letters and numbers, you'll be able to look up when they got that jersey. Maybe look at the game log, see if Jordan Alvarez did anything special that day. And a redemption behind Garrett Cole. And it is Jason Dominguez. Nice. That's going to be for John Jay and the Yankees. Got the sounds of Dodgers at Padres on the background. Dodgers ahead by two, five to three. Piazza to 75. Corbin Carroll. Pete Alonzo. Miguel Cabrera and Mark McGuire. All right. Trey Turner and Zach Geloff, rookie auto for the A's. That's going to be for Ryan. One of their uh, top prospects in the A's organization. I think his brother is in the Dodgers organization. Luis Robert did not get traded. And there's Anthony Rizzo and Garrett Cole, dual relic, 147 out of 150. John with the Yankees. And we've got game use memorabilia, Riley Green. 13 out of 75. Tristan and the Tigers. Buster and uh, Logan Webb, his former teammate, 38 out of 50. John Jackson with the Giants. George Brett and Fred Lynn, one out of 75. Boston Red Sox, Chris and the Sox. Sox of the Red. Bregman, and we've got Glaber Day, 128 out of 150 with the hologram sticker, going to John Jackson and the Yankees.
That's a redemption back there. Babe, Spencer, Goldschmidt, Yogi, Kid, Corey. Corey Seeger will go to the Rangers. And Kirsch. read my mind. It was getting a little warm in the studio. All right, and the hits. Bam. Tony Oliva, 115 out of 150. Twins. It's going to go to Dean. And we got Carlos Correa, 52 out of 75. Another twin for Dean. He's heating up. He's on fire. And another twin. 71 out of 150 from downtown. Tori Hunter. Great penmanship from Tori Hunter. Dean. And we have Triple Relic, Manny Machado. 181 out of 199. Got dual relic. Trout and Otani, 11 out of 199. Dual relic for John Jay and the Angels. And the redemp, it's Cal Ripken Jr. John Jackson with the O's. All right, three more box go halfway through this case. hit in here. Bonus card, bonus hit? No, bonus card. I'll take it. Feels like a redemption? No, just a thin, thin card.
Oh, there's an auto hiding here, Shane Bieber. I guess we got an extra hit somewhere, or maybe another base card somewhere. But anyway, Cleveland, this is for you. Jason Kirsch, Guardians. Pete Crow Armstrong to 99. And Yogi Bear to 75. There's Logan Webb, 67 out of 75, going to John Jackson and the Giants. And there's Big Poppy, David Ortiz, another one of those hologram sticker relics. That will be for Chris and the Red Sox. Rex says, I absolutely love team sports. I just witnessed people arguing about how bad the Phillies are and how they should have beat the Yankees. Phillies are tied with the Guardians for the best record in baseball. Winners always want more, Rex. Vlad Guerrero Jr., Vlad Guerrero Sr., 128 out of 150. It'll be a randomizer at the end of the break. Here's A.J. smith Shaver, 47 out of 150, rookie auto for the Braves. Alex. There's Matt Olson, 31 out of 99. Triple relic for the Braves. Alex. And Jordan Westberg, nice 16 out of 75, rookie auto for the Orioles, John Jay. All right, two more tribute boxes to go. a plate there. Oh, that's really cool. Here comes another train whistle. I think we've had at least a handful of train whistles, right? This upcoming one's probably like our fifth, fifth or sixth one. Another six hits out there. I'm not sure what the one of one count is. There might not be that many. Maybe just a couple one of ones, but a few. We had a few out of fives. There's Junior Caminero and Jordan Westberg. Nice couple rookie numbered cards. We'll take that. Westberg for the O's for John. 23 out of 50. And then we got Junior Caminero, who might get the call up soon for the race. I Capola. Now that the trade deadline is over. Might be some, some empty space on that Rays team. He's been, when healthy, been raking in the minors. All right, here's King Felix, Felix Hernandez, 44 out of 99.
Penn with the Mariners. Here is Mark Burley, 81 out of 99. Mark Burley, Burley boy. Mark Burley was 6'2", 240. Little Burley. We have Nolan Arenado, 32 out of 99. Triple relic for the Cardinals. It's going to be for Kane in St. Louis. Here is Big Boppy. 008 out of 150. MLB.com slash authentication. Look up those letters and numbers. It's a fun little fun little treasure hunt. And we've got a couple Cardinals here. Albert Pujols and Nolan Arenado. 101 out of 199 for Kane and the Cards. And the plate autograph... Ooh, it's a nice on-plate autograph. It is Ryan Howard. Nice. I've said this before. I'll say it again. I, I typically don't mind sticker autos. I do mind if it's on a plate. So that's why I appreciate those on-plate autos a lot more. That's for sure. Phillies, that's going to be for David M. David. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. All right, sixth and final box, and then we'll move on to, uh, I think, Immaculate after this. There's Derek Jeter uh, to 99. Come on, Gavin. Runners on, hitting third tonight. You gotta take. Vlad Guerrero Jr., 25 out of 75. Didn't get traded. Yeah, I mean, a, people were properly motivated, I guess. Half the break is going to get chased the mantle entries, and it's the last break, it's the finale. So, yeah, really moved the needle for everybody. Glad everybody got in. Thanks, everyone. It's for David M. in Toronto. And we've got Julio Rodriguez. Nice. You got the MLB hologram sticker, which I love, on that patch. And his autograph. 13 out of 25. Mariners. Ken.
And then back here is, is Jordan Alvarez, 64 out of 99. Two color, dual relic, Strohs. It's gonna be for Matt Arnold. Nice, poor, poor Jeremy's got a little birthday mojo working on his side. I like it. 32 out of 50, Juan Marichal. San Francisco, John Jackson. And here's Randy Arzarania. 12 out of 150. It's in the same box as the uh, Julio Rodriguez. I wonder if, wonder if that was set up. Set up by Tops. It'll be for the Rays, Coppola. And the last one here, Tony Oliva. 70 out of 99. That is for the Twins. Dean. Next will be Immaculate. So Tribute, done. Immaculate, done. Or gonna be done. All right. 2023 Immaculate. Correct, eight box hobby. Look at that, boss man Mike Jasperson in the chat. Oliva should be in the Hall of Fame, he says. I thought he was. All right, eight boxes here. Good luck. Why isn't he in the Hall of Fame? I know, I think for the Dodgers, I feel like Gil Hodges might have been a guy that everyone said should be in. I don't think got in, not on ballots anyway. I think Alan Trammell, I think, might have been another guy that benefited from maybe advanced stats, and I think he got in a little bit later. Box one of eight, immaculate. Then we'll do flawless and we'll close with Hit Parade Emerald. 13 out of 15, George Valera. Uh, there's Wilmer Flores, 53 out of 99. Two color patch and autograph for the Tigers. Tristan. George Valera will go to Jason and the uh, in the Guardians. Yeah, that's the big news lately. Bill Belichick with his 24-year-old girlfriend. Good for him, I guess. Three out of ten, Kevin Parada. The Devil Wears Parada. That's going to be for the Mets, John G. Belichick was 50 when he won his first Super Bowl. She was two. Cal Ripken, Barry Larkin, that's a randomizer. Why is that funny, Rex? Are you anti-love? Five 
Four out of five, Sedan Rafaela. Wow. Nice, big, thick card. For Boston, that's going to be for Chris. Yeah, why isn't he? I don't know. He usually he doesn't chat as often. And there's Jordan Walker, 13 out of 35. That's going to be for Kane and St. Louis. All right, that's the first box. Do you believe it's like, yeah. It's always love when a guy in his 70s is dating a girl in her uh, 20s. It's true love, guys. Carson Williams, 12 out of 15. Tampa Bay, that'll be for Coppola. There's Javi Lopez, Immaculate Mark, 67 out of 99. Bravos, that's going to go to Alex in Atlanta. Brian Rocchio. 9 out of 49, Cleveland. This is for you, Jason Kirsch. And then uh, Baltimore, dual relic. Rafa, Palmero, Cal Ripken Jr. And that will be for John Jackson and the Orioles. And here's another Tony Oliva. Three out of ten. Shadow box autograph. Minnesota Twins Dean. And the redemption, Ken Griffey Jr. Autograph materials printing plate black. Woo. Now this is, I gotta look at the checklist. This has gotta be. Seattle, right? That's my first instinct, but let's check the checklist. 2023 Immaculate Baseball. Autographs. Autograph materials, printing plate, card one, Ken Griffey Jr., Seattle Mariners, card one. And that's going to be for Ken. Nice one, Ken, and all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. That is a uh, it's a one of one. We have black, cyan, magenta, and yellow. Hey 
Daniel Spino, 15 out of 15. Cleveland, this is for you. Jason with the Guardians. Another redemption. It's Warming Burnabell. Prospect Patch Auto Hollow Silver. Colorado, I think? He is in the Rockies Double A affiliate, the Hartford Yard Goats. And that's going to go to Tristan in the Rocks. There's Gavin Williams, 6 out of 49. Cleveland, this is for you. It's going to go to Jason Kirsch and the Guardians. And a 4 out of 5, Ken Griffey Jr. Another one for Ken. No auto on this one, but but there's more. Ken with Ken. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop whoop. And we got a six out of ten. Tori Hunter. Immaculate moment takes away home run in All Star game. And down here we got Big Boppy Autograph, 3 out of 20. That's for Chris and Boston. We need to get some more top orders here. Drop, drop, drop. Wow, what a catch. Jackson Merrill with a diving catch. Running towards it. Eight out of 25, Brennan Davis. Adam with the Cubs. Here is Tink Hentz, 45 out of 49. Patch and autograph for 
The Cardinals, that's going to go to Kane and the Redbirds. You got Gavin Williams, another one, 38 out of 99. Cleveland, this is for you. Jason. Here's a Nolan Ryan and Pudge dual relic. Joel with the Rangers. Here is Robert Hassel, Nationals edition, 3 out of 10. Nice patch, nice autograph. Adam Kupperman with the Nationals. Part of their, uh, their youth movement. And then we've got Jack Leiter, 4 out of 10. Prospect, patch, and autograph. Another one for Joel and the Rangers. All right, so we are halfway through this eight box case. And then we're gonna do, uh, we're pretty much done. We're gonna do flawless after that. Then we'll do, um, do flawless after that. We'll close with the Hit Parade Emerald, Hit Parade Baseball Emerald. Then I'll do the randomizers for those multi cards, multi team cards. And with the same dice roll, we'll, uh, we'll do the 15 entries that were given away. Plus, name on top gets an entry and the Mickey Mantle. Tier one cut auto, one of one. Then we'll do a recap video and a separate video. And then we'll do that, uh, that Hit Parade Jaspi collab. Tim Salmon, 15 out of 15. 15 out of 15 for number 15. Nice, John Jackson with the Angels. Here's P. Crow Armstrong, jumbo jacket signatures, 16 out of 25 for Adam and the Cubs. Triple Relic and Autograph, 78 out of 99, Mason Hour. Coppola with the Rays, the Hour is nigh. Three out of 42, Carson Williams, jersey number for the Rays, another one for Coppola. Ooh, a thick one here. That's Elijah Green. 20 out of 35. Jumbo fielding glove signatures for Adam and the Nats. It's going to have to go into a slider box. Thirteen out of twenty-five, Larry Walker. Larry Walker, Rockies autograph, Tristan. I mentioned the Frank Thomas on your Dawson commercials. Have you ever seen some of the Jeter commercials? I have. The, the Grand Wagoneer commercial ranks as one of the worst commercials I've ever seen in my life. Finds green hair is raised asking everyone in the locker room who used it. I, haven't, I don't remember that one. I'm assuming it's the Philly Fanatic that used it. Bobby Wood Jr., 2 out of 25. Jumbo Fielding Glove. 
Ah, then the Philly Fanatic came in, yeah. Wait, why would the Philly Fanatic be in a Jeter locker room? That doesn't make sense. John Jackson and the Royals. And here's a four out of five. Miguel Belize, prospect patch and autograph. That is for uh, Boston. Chris, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. And we've got Jim Edmond, 17 out of 25 jumbo jacket signatures. St. Louis, it's for Kane. And here's Ricky Tideman, 38 out of 38 jersey number. Nice, that looks really cool. That's for Toronto, that's gonna to go to David M. Another thick one here, 41 out of 49, Colson Montgomery. Another big jumbo fielding glove signature. This one's a white sock, that's gonna to go to John Jackson. Jordan Lawler, five out of 25. Jersey and autograph, jumbo jacket signature for Adam and the Arizona Diamondbacks. Two more box to go. Redemption on the bottom. Jason Dominguez up top. Jumbo Fielding Glove, 10 out of 25. John Jackson and the Yankees. Jonathan Classe, 33 out of 49. Triple Relic and Autograph. Ken with Seattle, here's Cecil Fielder, 3 out of 10. For Detroit, Tristan with the Tigers. Ellie Dela Cruz, 3 color patch, 10 out of 25. Nice. John Jackson with the Reds. Here is A.J. Smith Shaver, 18 out of 87, three color patch and autograph. Alex with the ATL. And the redemption is Bobby Miller, Jumbo Jacket Signatures Blue. We need Bobby Miller to bounce back here. Dodgers, that's for Matt. He's trying to figure things out in the minors.
So it looks like he'll get the safe's opportunity. These days, there's no problem with the safe positions where he was going to be the guy to finish off the eighth if Bonda had to go one, two, three, and that day when he was a guy in the pocket. And a more in-house game, so he can go to seven options. They feel good about the ninth day. Another redemption on the bottom here and on our final box. Right up on top, 10 out of 10, Holiday. Jackson Holiday. I think someone was saying got recalled back to the majors. Some, some point today, John Jackson with the Jackson. Seventy-two out of ninety-nine. K. Dowdy. David in the Blue Jays. Yeah, Otani rarely argues calls, but Otani is a strike. Here is Emmanuel Rodriguez, eighty-seven out of ninety-nine, jersey and autograph. Uh, Dean with the Twins. Jackson Churio, three color patch, three out of 25. That will be for Tristan and the Brew Crew. And Diego Cartaya, 38 out of 49. A little bit of a ding on that bottom left corner, unfortunately, but still a nice one for Matt. The Dodgers' third best catching prospect traded today, but one and two, Dalton Rushing and Dio Cartaya still with the Dodgers. And the final card is Francisco Alvarez. Clearly immaculate material signatures for the Mets. John G. Trivia, who was the first Japanese player in the MLB? What team did he play for? I don't remember, but it's someone in the 60s, and I think it was for the, I think he was a giant. Sixties or 70s. All right, flawless. And then we'll close with Hit Parade. We're almost there. There it is, Flawless Baseball. Yeah, Murakami, right? There you go. First Korean player in Major League Baseball? I want to say it's, I don't think it's Chan Ho Park in the 90s. I feel like it's someone, there was someone earlier. Some blank cards here. 
see if the autograph is on the far right side. Alright, let's do the slider box first. Oh, he was the first Korean born player. Alright. I thought, I thought there was someone else in like the 80s, but maybe not. All right, flawless time. We got Carlos Baerga, 11 out of 20. That is for Jason and the Guardians. Here is 6 out of 7, James Wood. Excellent patch. That's really awesome. That's going to be for Adam and the Nets. Seventeen out of twenty-five dual relic Tony Gwynn. Dodgers trying to close down Mr. Padres team. Jeez. Machado just tees off on Blake trying and first pitch solo shot. Something's wrong with Blake. Now Tony Gwynn is gonna go to John Jackson and the Padres. Here is twenty out of twenty Juan Bin Cho. For the Cardinals, that's gonna be for uh, it's gonna be for Kane. Thirteen out of twenty-five, Frank Viola. Flawless achievements. Viola delivers another virtuoso effort. It says on the bottom of the card, Dean and the Twins. Ah. Eight inning gem in game seven to give the team its first title since relocating to Minnesota. Here's Vince Coleman, nine out of 10. Star Swatch signatures, nice patch there for John and the Mets. Ryan Howard, 7 out of 10. For the Phillies, David and the Fighting Phils. Sal Freelich, 5 out of 25. Patch, autograph, Brewers, Tristan with the Brew Crew. And Spencer Jones, nice future ink autograph. Two out of 20. That'll be for John Jay and the Yankees. And here is... Legends, 9 out of 15, dual sapphire, Burley Grimes, Brooklyn Dodgers. Wow. He worked at a lumber, this is, worked at a lumber camp before his major league career. Nice one, that's for, uh, for Matt and the Dodgers. By the way, those gems are naturally mine, not lab grown. And over here we have seven out of 10, Mason Wynn, diamond. Great youngster for uh, Kane and the Cardinals. And the autograph over here, rookie auto, Masataka Yoshida, two out of 20. Chris Parent, Boston Red Sox. All right. All right, but wait, there's more. Mm -hmm. 
Oh my god, did Jet... Did Blake trying to give up another solo homer? Jackson Merrill just tied up the game. Maybe the Dodgers should have gone for Tanner Scott, the closer that's now on the Padres. Hmm. Wow, the Diamondbacks have 17 runs, two touchdowns and a field goal? Or is it six plus six plus three? I'm assuming touchdowns plus the field goal, plus the extra? Here's uh, Tyler Gentry, 15 out of 15. Royals, that'll be for John. John Jay. Showcase, quad relic, Jacob Berry, 13 out of 15 for the fish. Tristan. Man, 17 runs for the Diamondbacks. Who are they playing? Tristan with Miami. Here is a Yoshida and Ichiro dual relic to 20. That'll be the uh, that'll be our third randomized card. So we'll do all that at the end. Here is Noah Schultz, 11 out of 25, silver and black patch for the White Sox. Me for John Jackson, last spot mojo. Oh, against your Nets. There's Lee Smith, 13 out of 25. Lee Smith. Dodgers could use a Lee Smith in the ninth. That's going to go to Adam and the Cubs. There's another Jacob Berry, 13 out of 20, this time with an autograph for Tristan and the Miami Marlins. There's Kyle Harrison, 2 out of 25. Giants. It's going to be for John Jackson. And there's Rhino, 9 out of 20. Ryan Sandberg for Adam and the Cubs. And we got Jordan Lawler. Flawlessly framed autograph for the Snakes. 13 out of 25, another one for Adam Copperman. Back to back, he's heating up, he's on fire. Uh, it's in the break schedule, CJ. Click that link in the, in the top of the, uh, that's pinned in the chat. All right, we're almost done with this one, folks. I think the auto's on the left side right here. We got Sam Crawford, one out of 15, double sapphire. Tristan. In the middle, I saw some green. 
That's a train whistle, two out of five. It's A's Max Muncy. Ryan with the double emerald. And all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. And the last one here, same deal with that card is a giant, an Oriole? It's an Oriole, it's Jackson Holiday. Three color patch, an autograph, eight out of 10. Nice. All right, so the case is closed on the flawless. We're 70 boxes in. We got 10 more to go. And here it is. Ladies and gentlemen, we did it. That's the last one. Great work, everybody. Here it is. Hit Parade Baseball Emerald Edition Series 2. 10 box case. We made it. We are currently four hours and 28 minutes of recording time here. There was a little intermission. But in terms of recording time, we're at pretty much four and a half hours. This should take another 10 minutes or so. Then we'll do some randomizers. All right, good luck. I think Emerald Edition is maybe a notch, just a notch below the Sapphire Edition maybe? The, the top level edition? I don't think Emerald is released as often though. All right, here is Clayton Kershaw. Look how young he looks there. Part of that under 18 USA national team, diamond and autograph to 10. Dodgers, that's from Matt. And a dual auto, both Red Sox, Pedro Martinez, David Ortiz to 10, Chris Parent with the Red Sox. Graded, PSA. PSA 9, C.J. Abrams from 2022 Stadium Club. Beam Team Refractor. Adam Copperman. Two out of five, Adam. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -hoo. Part of that Big Soto trade. He's playing really well. Another PSA, 10 O'Neill Cruz from 2022 Finest, Finest Blue Refractor. Uh, there's the number right there, 14 out of 150. Kane with the Pirates.
And here is rookie Matt Nay autograph. That's Fernando Tatis Jr. Two out of ten. Some nice colors there. Good silver ink autograph. That's from 2019. Immaculate. Uh, San Diego Padres, that will be John Jackson. Padres tying up with two solo shots in the ninth. Now there's bonus baseball for Padres. Dodgers at Padres. Another graded card, yeah, the higher level hit parade stuff, you see a lot more graded things. Like this Mike Trout, 22 out of, uh, 2022 Allen and Ginter, Mike Trout. PSA 9. Nice autograph, and it's a red refractor. Two out of five. Angels, John Jackson. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. This emerald stuff is nice, ladies and gentlemen. Real nice. And we've got five-star Ronald Acuna Jr., 23 out of 23. Silver Ink autograph. Alex with the Braves. 2022 five-star. Love that five-star. Three left. Jackson Holiday, 7 out of 10. Out of Chronicles Noir Baseball from Chronicles. Real thick cardstock there. Awesome. John Jackson with Jackson Holiday. John Jackson Holiday. There's the case hit. We'll save that for last. Here's our 70th, 9th box of our 80 box break. We made it. Graded card. PSA. Bam! It is Derek Jeter. PSA 7 from 2000, Ultra Fresh Ink, Derek Jeter. Wow. Thirty-nine out of ninety-five. That is for John Jackson and the New York Yankees. <laughs> now, what's the case it's going to be? The case hit is going to be Ellie Dela Cruz, Clutch Factor, Patch Autograph, 6 out of 10. Wow. From NT Baseball, and that's going to go to John Jackson and the Reds as well. Woo, what a break, boys and girls, and what a way to end it. Thanks everyone for, for getting in on all of the action here. Recap will be in a separate video if you're looking for that. Let's do some randomizing. All right, so new dice. First list will be uh, the Toronto and 
Montreal Expos, which is Washington now. And then we've got Boston and Seattle. And then we've got Baltimore and Cincinnati. Actually, Baltimore and Cincinnati, they're both owned by John Jackson, so it's one less randomizer we have to do. So this blank list can actually be, wait, Boston and Seattle are different people, right? Boston, Seattle, yeah, are different, and then Toronto, yeah, okay. And so the third list will be for those, uh, well, for the Mickey Mantle, for the name on top. Um, and, uh, and the next 14 will also get Chase the Mantle entries. Name on top gets a Mantle entry as well. We'll use one dice roll for all three lists. And that's uh, one and a five, six times each. Good luck, everybody. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Goes to the Nationals after six. So this will be for Adam and the Nats. Apologies to David and Toronto. Next one will be that flawless dual relic. Six times, one and a five. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Goes to Seattle, so sorry Chris, but congrats, uh, congrats Ken. All right, now, the Mickey Mantle cut auto for the name on top plus a mantle entry and the next 14 will get mantle entries. Just like that. Six times. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. Now from right here, sad times. But I appreciate you trying. Hopefully we, we were able to get you some entries beforehand. Top 15, you're happy. John, Matt, Coppola, Tristan, Alex, Adam, Kane, Adam, Tristan, John, Dean, Matt, Adam. So close to that mantle cut auto. But you still got an entry for the, for the mantle rookie. So you're, you're in, Adam. And name on top, you're also in, and you have the tier one Mickey Mantle cut auto. It's Jason Kirsch. Congrats, Jason. It's a one of one. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. And you're chasing the mantle. There you go, my friends. Check the schedule. The the uh, drawing for the uh, for the card will be tomorrow. It's, it's a must-see TV, must-see YouTube event. So join the stream tomorrow for that. Thanks, everybody. Look to the next video for the recap video. Thanks, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. What a big one. That was the Chase the Mantle finale break. 80 boxes of Pick Your Team. Whew. Thanks, everybody. Great break. Great times. I feel like we pulled some really nice things, too. Thanks, everyone, for watching. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Bye-bye.